day, this nigga was actually killed by those trolls that actually attacked him. That they attacked him to death. So we've gone through so much. Mac even steps in. He gets me counseling, right? The first person I speak to after Patrick Shire's death is Ricky Rick. I tell him, yo, bro, I was feeling suicidal three days ago. This is on the 23rd of January now that I'm speaking to Ricky Rick. Um, I was also feeling suicidal a couple of days ago. That's why I tweet, posted my last tweet. I'm not even on the timeline. Ne? Moving, 23rd of January. Very important. That's the last conversation I had with Ricky Rick. Speaks first. The host of the show, please. Mm. Because uh, we've, got a, we've got a juvenile delinquent okay. amongst us today. No, it's just that this luxury <laughs> essay Crazy Vibe song is stuck in my head, dog. Yeah. It's been stuck in my head. Like, it just plays in my head, like, the whole time. So Fuck I just need to get it out of my system so at least we can have a conversation without it singing in my head while I listen to Penwell talk. Fuck house music. It's listen not house, dog. Listen to God Penwell. And piano. piano. So, like, that's, I need to shut out this sound of this song because it's, like, you know, it's distracting me. So, yeah. I just want to get it out. So Why yeah. are you fighting with Saul? What's, what's wrong with you? I uh, know I'm not fighting with Saul. Did you see the video panel? I did. Uh, and I was worried as everyone else is worried about a nota, of course. Hey. Um, I, don't, I don't really people, know what was happening. Allow really me to continue to speak. I, I don't really know what was happening in the video, but it looked like Unota was looking for a moment um, of confrontation. Because I think there's a clip after that where he looks very proud of himself with, yeah. I'm told and I got the contacts and I got I got the content and I got the audio. So I don't know if it was doing it for reactions or what was happening, but um, we've spoken about what happened when Saul left podcast and chill. Not left, sorry, I, I take that back. When he joined Kai FM mm -hmm. and the whole thing that Unota was saying that he sold out and 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 I don't know if that's now an escalation of that, but shame man, in the clip Saul didn't look happy and he did sound hurt and upset. So, I looked at it. Uh, some of this stuff, I mean, I, I tried to ignore. That, that's why I've yeah, also yeah. blocked Nota on Twitter. Because I realize he just, he throws random shots unnecessarily. And because I love him as a brother very much, I'm like, I'm not going to do this with you. Uh, if you want to drag other people and train, by all means, if too, but not me. Because I, I genuinely care about you. You can swear at me via WhatsApp. That I don't mind. No, what happened? No, I blocked him first, so then he blocked me back. It doesn't matter. It, it, that, that's, that's immaterial. That's really immaterial. What, what happened? So then you blocked me back. What happened? No, how, how, you were, how I was did... playing devil's advocate and I was like, dog, we don't need you to be playing devil's advocate. I'm not talking about the blocking. What happened to the soul? No, he's talking about the soul, Penduka, the whole sellout thing. Yeah. 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 So yes. like he was playing devil's advocate in that instance, right? And I was like, bro, you don't need to be playing devil's advocate because we're all like on the same page. We know that radio has been trying to come for independent online creators as well for the longest time. Yeah. You know, we know that. And um, also because we have offline conversations uh, as well that we don't bring out into the timeline, whatever, when we swear each other on WhatsApp, we actually don't even swear each other. We just No, say, we don't. We don't. Yeah, we say Shame. nice things. <laughs> Shame, that's true. Unota, Unota uh, puts me on a lot of really dope content. No, but we swear at each other on the timeline on twitter because that's the language that's spoken on i'm twitter. not gonna do that no i understand you don't do that but that's what trends i mean i'm just saying that's how the platform works the platform has got a negativity bias right and i'm not unwilling to play into that so you know i played into that where as far as soul is concerned because i knew that i sent you a video clip right about that guy who ate himself to death oh, because yeah. of these YouTube um, subscribers, yeah, right? Yeah. And what we've seen with fan bases is that they can be really toxic. If you look at like A. Reese's fan base, now that, you know, he didn't win um, Asama, you can see that... He deserved to win that in that pool of In terms five. of rapping. Yeah, but if you look at the performance of Blackie's album, there was no way... No, no, no I, 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 just at, at, at I, a level I, of yeah, rap. No, rap skills, And now yes. you agree with that. Yes, I... I that was the best uh, album. How, how can I... You how can I... I'm the one who said that. You put me onto yeah, that no. album... And I, I listened to it over 10 times. That's the best album. Do you remember the, the conversation fight? we had that day? Yeah. Where I said that if they go on numbers, Blackie will win. Yes. And that, that's what they went on. They yeah. went on numbers. And why? Because Blackie had more sound, more South African sound. Yeah, whatever, songs, whatever. But which would help that's, the that's numbers. A, that's the best album. So the now world. the audience capture that you find with someone who's got a big fan base online, right? Is that it drags you into like a sort of behavior that is counterproductive to you actually being authentic. 
You know what I mean? Because now you've got a certain fan base that wants certain type of content from you. It's like Nsiki Mazwai's fan base. You know what I mean? That whole entire, they want her to be in this whole entire victim. You can argue even with your fan base. Yes, but I don't, with my fan base, I don't listen to them. I can anger them. But I you, feed, you feed into, you are polarizing, you have... I only now have a fan yeah. You, you, you have significant number of people who dislike you, but they still mm. follow you. Mm. But there are those who like you for the drama that you bring. Yes, that's And true. you feed into that desire to see you being dramatic. And that's how, that's why even when they respond, mm. bachele, no, bachele, mm. like you feed into that desire yeah, to see exactly you. Yeah, that's exactly it. So you need to be able to um, discern as to when you're just feeding into the thing or when you are actually genuinely you know going at it so i needed to protect umegji just as a brother right because i knew that he'd partnered with soul right with the best intentions at heart right but you can't now make up for whatever past work traumas that your colleagues have you mm -hmm. understand um certain things just from just soul's work history right he had a tendency of self-sabotaging himself at work. Like, if you see how Saul got dismissed in his history, like, if you were to be an HR specialist and you say, why were you dismissed? You were dismissed because downloading porn on a work computer or whatever. You were dismissed because you had gambling debts and then people came to collect at work and then you absconded from work. You were AWOL. You didn't even call the person who employed you for the mm. show. You know, those types of behaviors. Yeah. And I saw that that could happen on a podcast, like, podcast and chill with Mac G, except it's not 5FM. It's not YFM, you know what I mean? If Saul fucks out on that podcast, the podcast could be down the drain. The entire thing could fall down the drain. And yes, you can have 600,000 subscribers, 700,000 subscribers and 10,000 views once people turn off. You understand what I'm saying? Once they lose... I think that's very un that's highly unlikely. No, it's, it's highly, highly unlikely. unlikely. Knowing what I know about the algorithm and the impressions, the where that podcast is at at the moment, there's no way down unless Mac chooses something not to big. record. No, no, something unless, big happens. no. Because even the something big that happens, whether it's an allegation of sexual assault or whatever, no, it was, that's what I'm talking no, about. I'm, I'm saying in the event of anything big, okay. it will still attract people to for the curiosity. Yes, it to will feed into what happened. I'm not saying I'm not saying that it won't attract people at all. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is this: on the same channel with the same algorithm, right? Umek G has got the ladies podcast or whatever on yeah. the table that gets 10,000, 20,000 views. We've seen that. Yeah, on the same and channel. I, I know technically why. That could be the case on the same channel because I have a, 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 a right. channel where, on the one hand, on Junior, we get 120,000, mm -hmm. but on Soul, we get 30,000 yes. on average. So, so I know why. So therefore, you can understand the value of Soul on that podcast because you've also interviewed Soul as an individual yeah. and you've also followed him being interviewed as an individual. Yeah. And then you also understand why he could bring value to Kaya FM as an individual sure. and as well bring along the chillers to support him. Yeah. So the main thing was to ensure that I play the reverse psychology game, right? Well enough to make sure that Saul and his fan base knows that if we were to leave the podcast for any reason, the support base that got him onto Kaya FM would completely abandon him. So I needed to make that whole entire fear of being an actual sellout. He's still, he's still following his logic. I'm following and I want to I wanna ask questions. Uh, okay, let me finish. Let me before, finish before you finish, okay. just on what you're saying, um, are you basically saying what you were doing was a good thing? Yeah, because that's for that's Mac what and Sol. For Mac, yes. And for Sol. Um, for Sol, look. because it, it sounds like you were just raising alarm bells. We say, but don't don't fuck up like you've done before. You, that, I yeah, actually care about you. I yeah, think you're valuable. You so yeah, that's I, that's how catch a I fucking wake up. You understand what I'm saying? So and it was a good thing you were doing for him. That's I was doing it for. for I was protecting Mac G. Okay. Right from the toxicity that might come with Sol from his previous. Work okay. experiences and you know, like he's the type of guy who defaults to the okay, I he hasn't for fuck's sake, yeah, yeah, man. Sure. And to me phone and Agnam or whatever, whatever, I'll figure yeah. it out. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's got that, that, that thing. That may not be the worst thing that happens on the platform. It's a speculation that if it, that that would have an adverse negative impact. So the thing is that long term. The, what preceded that is that in January, uh, myself and Mac actually sat down and actually assessed what were the threats to the channel and what were the plans for the channel's growth. You know, the whole entire projected plan for the channel's growth. We sat down in January at the beginning of the year. And you're doing this as a, fr as a friend to him? Yeah, as a friend to Mac G. I've been a friend with Mac G for many, many years. So since I used to host parties when I was in high school, Mac G was already on YFM. And what he would do is that he'd play at my parties and promote my parties. And then and on, on one occasion, I was doing the De Elias album launch. 
So because his show was from three to six in the morning, he said, yo, come to my show, be a guest on my show. And then when Spoo arrives, he arrives at 5 a.m. 5 a. And then maybe he can put you on his show and you can promote this thing. And that's exactly what I did. And then I met Spoo. That's the uh, MacG introduced me to Spoo, and then Spoo put me on his breakfast show, and then from there my uh, my um, events company blew up. Boom! Like, like I started making hundreds of thousands of brands. That's proper. And DJ Spoo then also played at my party for free, um, and also Tibo Touch also played at my party because DJ Spoo was playing. Um, Tibo Touch came with him, and then he said, "Yo, I'm just gonna get <coughs> um, CDs from my car. I won't play for long. I'll just mix a couple of songs. Yeah. And I'll speak on the mic." And that's, that's a nice st- story, by the way. That's what started my business. So our relationship with McG started even way back then. It actually started when I was a guest on Crazy, when he was still a presenter. And Crazy was a, Crazy on ETV. ETV yeah, so I was doing a quiz game show, entering, and he was the presenter. And we were a similar age um, a group. He's three years older than me. Uh, he's an 87, I'm a 90. Uh, we are 90s. So What are you? <laughs> I'm you, in 86. 86. Yeah. 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 I'm usually so the youngest in the room. <laughs> I'm always the youngest, you know what I mean? I'm always the youngest. So um You're thirty days older than me. Yeah. Or something so, like that. So 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 oh yeah, okay, so you're the youngest now. So yeah. That whole entire relationship we've carried it throughout, you know what I mean? So Mac J and I fight all the time. As like friends. As you fight with everyone? No 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 no. I don't fight with everyone because those are not my friends. Those oh are yeah, t- Chanda oh. Girl, oh, push a narrative. Yeah. This is a very simple statement that he's saying. Yeah. Sure. As you fight with everyone. No. The, the perception out there, like me and you, we could have a fight. Yeah, but the that's the that, narrative. That's yeah. The narrative that yeah. people it's to say, oh, no one's fighting with everyone. So would you, would, you, would, would you describe what's happening with you and Saul as a fight? No. Do you think that he would be comfortable talking to you tomorrow, sit down next to you tomorrow? From I, his perspective. I, I confronted from, him. From his perspective. No, I, that's, why I, I, that's why I went to him to speak would to him. Would he voluntarily want to speak no, to you? No, I know that he wouldn't. Because so he that's, have that's how... General yes. population sees it as a fight. Now, the thing is this, right? He's got that huge, massive fan base that he's gained from Podcast and Chill. Yeah. He's got that huge, massive fan base that he gained from Podcast and Chill. It wouldn't be there without Podcast and Chill, right? So if he were to leave Podcast and Chill, right, that fan base, right, might follow him. Might follow him wherever he goes, right? About, but about also at the same time, no, it's show. fine. It's not about them sharing. It would destabilize the podcast. We've seen it happen with Joe Joe, Joe Biden before. Fact he had to Joe rebuild. He, 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 fucked, he fucked it up. You can say however you he, want. He fucked it up. But I'm going on what I've seen happen. Sure. You know? And therefore, when it's a business and it's my friend's business, right? And his wife is pregnant with a kid. He's already got a kid he's supporting. He's had to build himself back up from bankruptcy. And you understand what I'm saying? He can ill afford a setback at that point in time and we cannot predict how it would turn out if someone were to capture Saul or take him. So what happened is that um, I then um, go to have a meeting with another guy who used to work at Prime Media but now he works at Huawei, right? And while I'm having this meeting with this guy, right, Ravi, um, who is, you know, one of the guys that hires people at 94.7, walks into the Vida e-cafe. When he sees me, it's like he saw a snake. I was about to greet him. He's like, he saw a snake. I, I don't know why he'd have a, a thought of a bad thought yeah, about me. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> and obviously, me and Mac J have been friends for so long that... It's you also know, lazy Pozako, Liz. Yeah, no, no that's, that's true. Too <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> the comments are going to go crazy for these nails. And that's part of the content. That's part of the genius. Um, but Ravi then... I'm like, does he? Oh, yes, yes. He probably knows a Max friend. But why is he like, I was about to greet him and we've never had any back. And he knows that, you know, I've come there. You know, Questa was very well played at 94.7, very well supported. So mm-hmm. I, those people are like family to me. But I'm like, hey, this is weird. Sure. Hi, Something weird just happened, but let's talk. I tell him the story. He says, eh, you're lying. This is weird. I'm like, why is it weird? He's like, yo, these guys have been calling me. Right about working on a new podcasting app and everything else, mm. and I've been feeding them all my data. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! And I'm like, you know what? I think they're actually making us uh, an offer to snatch soul from the podcast. Mm. So then we had to come up with a master plan, like how do we save the podcast and how do we keep soul? You understand? Am I, am I allowed to interrupt quickly? Yeah, for sure. How, how dangerous? How dangerous is it telling people your analytics? In your opinion, it's stupid. When he told me that he was doing that, I was like, "What the fuck?" You understand what I'm saying? Because I was like, 
I'm, I'm, big on, I'm, big, I'm big on teachable like, moments. So no, I'm just, I'm just trying like, to think. No, 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 I'm, trying, like, I'm, I'm, how do you, I'm trying how to work it out. How, 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 how do you how do you Because it's already, it's already it's information that's out there. It's no, already but, information that's so out the there. Thing is, is it? Yeah, the, thing is this. the numbers really, the subscriber base really. No, no, no. The only thing at the breakdown would be the gender breakdown and where people are watching. Yeah, exactly. But the rest you can find. They're also trying to value how much, or they're trying to evaluate how much value soul has brought to the podcast as well because they look through the history mm. of the analytics oh, yeah. from that, yeah that's, that, yeah, that's what they could learn you understand what i'm saying okay. yeah. so yeah now when he asked when they were asking for the data he's like no we're trying to build an app with these guys they're going to help me you know and um number one i already smelt a rat from the first word go sure. right let me tell you where i smelt a rat when that old mutual thing came out right i'd always been a vocal about it. old mutual that deal i brought it to um the table for mac right thank you for doing that by the way yeah no but it was he's my brother why is no it, no i'm just saying thank, there, thank yeah, you for I, I thank think, you for putting people on i think it's genuine but why because, is there is there you know, never a, a like if you were to do a deal with me penwell or, or, or whatever yeah it would be like a an easily readily acceptable thing to say yo shout out to nota for xyz easily why, I know. why has there been a deflection so that's the thing i even confronted about, mac, about that I, I even confronted mac about that when i did my first interview like one-on-one -on -one with mac on the show and i said bro i have already put you on i put you on that sponsorship for that show me being on podcast until that first episode i got paid forty thousand rand for that that there was an old mutual episode it was a forty thousand rand episode for me that's how much i got paid for it right mm -hmm. he got paid whatever he got paid that's a, that's they, they gave them fifty that's a lot of money yeah just me they and also, one day on a crop on it like no quest of forty thousand so without for him being on the podcast tagged. and that's why um i told mac no by the time you have Questa on it'll be a paid thing so that was the, the first Questa interview that he did with uh, mac was an old mutual paid interview um and then as i thought sibu mabena and Locke also um did another interview so i've been working and helping like we've been helping each other like just as brothers like yeah. yo let me put you on with this let me put you on with this contact mac even when he had the 100k plaque yeah, you were episode there. you were there he thanked me because yeah. i'm the person who hooked him up with youtube number one before he even had i think 10,000 subscribers um and old mutual that's at m studios and plugged in with john savage to say yo help this guy manage this guy's um branding and podcasting and get the advertisers and that's the white guy that he talks about yeah mm. but why does he say yo and a white guy had to help us he doesn't say a black guy brought us to a white guy who could get us to other white guys who could give us money because other black guys won't give us money sure which is a black guy did that for him a black guy who didn't say i'm gonna keep my whitey to myself mm. um so so i've been assisting him so throughout this whole entire play and i'm like damn it they threw you under the bus last year january right after the contract had ended in 2020 october mm. where it was unnecessary old mutual all they needed to say was yo our contract with mcg expired in october last year mm. we we're not involved with this content and we do not condone anything that whatever whatever but they made it seem as if they dropped him right there and then i want to ask another and question mutual, quickly old on mutual, the old mutual old mutual is the biggest shareholder of prime media you need to understand that they say they're uh, prime media's biggest shareholder right and um i think the chairman is also trevor manuel right just break it down to the audience yeah. what what radio platforms are owned by prime media 94.7 702 cape talk kfm, um, KFM. Uh, yeah sure. there's a lot so it's there big. is directly um a threat to the rise of podcasts captivating an audience which will be on podcast as opposed to be on radio and also influencing people to buy a product because think about this Mac G is able to sell his product at Macro now because his podcast is that successful. DJ Spoo is now able to be stocked at Macro where he wasn't before because of his podcast being so successful. So we've seen from these white-owned media platforms like your e-media, which sells us um, all the Distel uh, or Rem Grow or whatever. Um, yeah, Rupert's. those are all Johan Rupert companies, including yeah, all of them. So e yeah. is the media platform that promotes the products that he sells. Rem grow companies. You understand? Sure. Exactly. So, so I knew, okay, I could see that, damn it, this is a scheme. I could, I, I could read all the signs. Old Mutual already threw you under the bus. Mm. They've got their company, which is Prime Media, now getting all your data from underneath you, saying that they're yeah. going to help you, right? And also now it looks like they're actually making an offer to take your co-host from your platform, right? And then take him exclusively so that now you have to be destabilized and before, find a new co-host. Before you carry on about Sol, I wanted to speak about this mm. old mutual thing. There's a misconception, or at least to me, that these companies are some big old white men 
Mm. And sometimes I find that it's young black kids who are making the decisions to say, let's go with this media run and make it seem like we dropped these guys. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of sabotage from yeah. young black kids yeah, but who work for no, certain no. brands and no, certain no, no. companies. Yeah, no, that's cool. But uh, Grind yeah. Grace Williams, Grind Grace Williams runs that thing. It's not, there's no black kids that are involved in any of those decisions sure. at Prime Media. Grind Grace Williams also answers to Trevor Manuel. So, you know... It's not as if they own, even if they were. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even if they were on a media run. They're yeah. They, the they're very quiet. Yeah. So, I could see this plan that they're doing, right, sure. to destabilize. And then another thing that they did, um, it was when um, Dineo Ranaka jumped on the table on Metro FM. Then they had Tando Tebete do her own table dance challenge and everything else and make it seem like, hey, 94.7 is a better place to work. So you could see that they were scheming on getting Dineo at that point in time because, as well um, and taking her from down, and because when Dineo did it on Metro what happened to her she got suspended and then she, they in then Tando Tabete then did it they did not suspend they, no they didn't she, she was she, she, basically Prime Media was saying yo Dineo at Prime Media you'd be allowed to dance on <laughs> tables and make a viral challenge like we'd love that yeah. you understand because we allow Tando to do that this might be a better place for you to work and if you look at it 54% um, of Metro FM's audience is um, from uh, Gauteng province, right? Um, and 9%, um, KZN, 9% Western Cape, uh, which is the other two. So they are a Gauteng station. 4.7 is a Gauteng station. Who's the other competition? Kaya FM. So then I thought, okay, fine. The only way to actually beat whatever might be happening, if there's an offer, right? They might want to replace Dineo with Sol. On, 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 on Metro FM, that could be a possibility if Sol were to receive an offer. And at this point in time, me and MacG, we weren't sure whether Sol was receiving offers because he wasn't saying anything, he, was playing, mm. he wasn't playing open cards. Sure. He wasn't being honest with it, right? And we needed to find a way to get him to confess it. Sure. So now I've got a suspicion that Ravi 947 has given him an offer. Mm. So I'm like, okay, fine. I'm seeing all of these things come together. I say, Mac, while you're on the show, just talk about it cavalierly and see what the reaction or the response is in real time. <laughs> and then that's when Saul revealed that, no, he has been getting offers. And then I thought, okay, the only two offers he could have gotten was from Metro FM and from 947, which confirmed my first suspicions. So that was our target. Our target was to stop that from happening. So what I then did is that I took um, Saul to Urban Art, the guys who did the Questa sneaker, to give him a clothing merchandising deal where he would get a 5% royalty on the retail price of any clothing items that are mm. sold and he'd be able to promote all of those clothes mm. on podcast and chill mcg was going to allow him to promote them for free and he gets the five percent royalty right and gets like a, a discount code um that was the plan shout out to you by the way for all these plugs yeah so you know i was doing that plugging and then while we're doing those negotiations then me and mcg have another fight because while we're in the meeting to discuss this whole entire thing right mm. i'm pitching so when you're pitching, you're selling. Sure. And then when, when, when Saul then gets to MacG, whatever, and his manager, mm. now they're pitching other ideas that have got nothing to do with why I brought them to the meeting to be mm. an audience because they weren't speaking in that meeting. Sure. And they're relaying this. And now Mac is like, Ish, it seems like we're discussing too much business and Saul is just talent. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Like that's the role he's in. And now it's just too much. Let's just park that whole entire thing because it seems like you know, it could get messy with Saul mixing up whose role is what. And now, because you're helping me as a friend, he's now mixing it up thinking that you may be uh, like a partner on the podcast. Mm. You know what I mean? And now, I don't want us to have like, you know, a broken chain of command. Did you brief the guys up front though? Who? Or did you just assume that I understand the tone no, of the I meeting? No, I did brief them. I did okay. brief them. It's like, yo, this is a, this is a pitch. This is, you I know, did brief know, them. You know, you know, We're supposed to have the meeting a week prior to that. And we didn't have the meeting a week prior to that, mm. right? Because Usol Uvele Wachiga. At the last, and I'm like, why wouldn't yo, you no, come so into the meeting? Do you know what the problem is? Is mm -hmm. that these niggas are quite reluctant to verify all of the shit. No. Any of the shit, both of them. No, no, no. It's very difficult to get them to, that's what I'm saying. No. Credit for Old Mutual. No, he, here, he gave it. So the credit for Old Mutual, I already he already got it on that episode. I said, yo, I gave you the Cold Mutual thing. You understand? The YouTube thing. They are very difficult to be for the Not these niggas. Talk about Mac. So I'm saying Mac himself, on the 100K plaque, he invited me to thank me on the podcast. Like, that's why he invited me as a guest to thank me. So that's not a reluctance, dog. 
No one has ever come to say, yo, don't I am Wednesday, look, now look, now look. Let me thank you publicly on the platform and tell people like, yo, this is the guy that okay. actually made this but possible. You, you do get my point that... Uh, no, I, I get that. Is... No, Usol would be like that because I, I watched him on your podcast. So I'll get to how that... I, I want to hear what Tunkule has to say though. No, I, I, even if he may be wrong. I just want to hear yeah, like the end of his point. When, when I'm speaking to... When I spoke to Sol, yeah. there were a couple of things that I asked him. I will about, get to that. About, about, yeah, but you, you and he was cagey with some of the answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I asked him about... Do, do you think it was be, because... In general, or because it was being filmed? Maybe you could have answered off camera. Well, that's a very interesting question, but on camera, sure. this is what it said. Uh, as I pose the question about your role mm. in, his, in, in, in his journey to Kaya. He doesn't know that. Um, he, he, I never spoke to him about that. And he's like, no, yeah. relatedly, that's like a convenient thing that he comes up with, that you play these cards this way sure. so that you look like a hero in your own story. Okay. I know, I'm, I know. That's what he says. I, I don't show. No, no, no I don't need to. I know. I, I, I don't say anything about what I'm showing you. No, you, you don't have to show us. You can just tell the story. No, no, I'm not. I can't. I can't. But I just need to. I just need to show you something, right? I just need to show you. Okay. Something, right? This is confidential. Wait. I'm super, asking a question. Yes, yeah, super confidential. Okay. Right, 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 right. Sure. Right. No, I can't. There Why were, would there I? Were, there were rumors, wait, 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 there wait, were wait, rumors wait, no, wait, of some wait. of this stuff, though. Yes, so that's the case, right? So I knew that I had someone who was really influential inside at Kaya, mm -hmm. who I could phone and say, Dog, I'm sitting with Mac here. This is the situation. What I've just told you, the same story I laid out to this guy. This is the situation, and we're going to lose Saul. And when, if we lose Saul, we don't know what will happen with the podcast. It might destabilize But it. who's we? Because this now gives the impression I'm that chiller. you're involved. No, I, I'm Mac's friend, dog. Okay. I, I, and no, I'm just saying to yes. other people that listen, you know perception. Yes, but I'm Mac's They're friend gonna be like, we're we talking to oh. another a, a bigger brother of ours. Mac yeah. and I's bigger brother. The guy who os kuzai, or os, you understand, who sure. mentors us, you know? And this is a big boss within the industry. You know, guy who's been in the industry that we respect a lot. Who sure. counsels us on a lot of things. Even the cancellation stuff and how to deal with it, you know? And... The same big brother was the same big brother who gave us the advice, right? When I was telling Mac, because I was trying to, I was telling Mac, Mac, come on, dog, I'll even chip in some money. We need to sue Old Mutual for defamation of character mm. because the amount of money that you've lost ever since they posted, you lost your sports scene. Uh, no, no, it wasn't sports scene. It was Studio 88. Mm. You know, there was that whole entire campaign that they were supposed to do. And then people came in at them. So imagine in January, you've got no money, right? You just got a, a, a campaign, the previous year, which ended in October. That gave you a bag. So you had October, November, December. You're spending money with them and everything else. I'm just else. trying to think. Abu Mac G never released an official statement. I know people like those he things. He did. He did. A written that. official statement yes, saying, saying that yes, he did. our, our yes, contract which I wrote. actually ended. Which I wrote, yes. Okay, no, he that's did. solid. He did. That's solid. He did, but what's the point? Because Old Mutual is, is a behemoth. Sure. You understand? You can't compete against the JSC listed company when they tell you that you're bad news. Sure. Because you are looking at other JSC listed companies and you want them to sponsor you. And if one of them already is saying, hey, this is bad for us, the rest are going to follow suit. You okay. understand? That's how it is. Um, so therefore, MACG was fucked. As in like, yo, this whole year, you're not going to get any corporate sponsorship. Mm. And the podcast cannot survive and pay soul without the corporate sponsorship. That's the thing, what he deserves. Mm. And it makes him a sitting duck. Which means that if Metro FM gives him an offer and says, no, you can't do the podcast as well, he has to take it because sure. he needs it. You understand? And we knew that Saul would need the money. We, there's no way we can stop him from taking any offer. So we had to ask this big brother of ours who's got influence in the industry, yo, convince the bosses at Kaya. Mm. Whatever has happened with you at Kaya already, he'd already had some issue mm. that was almost could have ended his own career. We needed to ask him to say. <laughs> hey, now you mention people's names without mentioning. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's not what I'm saying. But either way, we, election. no, no, no. But either way, the, those who know, if you know, sure. you know. So he then had to say, instead of now looking for, obviously they're trying to recompense him, mm. in 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 a way. I say, just want to take for, a quick step back. Yeah? You you were saying at some point in a meeting, mm. Umechi was just emphasizing that Usol is talent. No, what, what are you in, saying? In, in, yes, Usol is talent. So, Mechi brought him on. 
No, he is talent. He's a talent. Yes, he's a talent. But um, it's Mike G's podcast. He's not an owner or a shareholder of a podcast. Why would he be? That's not ambiguous. That's not ambiguous. No, there's only reason. The only reason why. Yeah, yeah. Because I wouldn't walk into a meeting with Junior. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't understand. There's a reason I'm asking. I just wanted that confirmation. Yeah, sure. Mike G owns the podcast. Salt doesn't own the co own. So why would he bring him into a meeting then? Okay. To bring him to the meeting to impress the client because they want to see the guy that we are talking about. That's going to be wearing the clothing. You know, because I usually do that. Whenever I have a business meetings, my first meetings, I'll go there by myself and then I bring the star of the show sure. to get the star power going. You know, There's a this, reason why I'm asking. As sure. story, because, no, no, I, I, I get you. Because Sorry, when sure. you walk in with the star, right, and the CEO is sitting at the back of his office and then he sees his whole entire staff losing going their mind, berserk. you're getting big money. Yeah, Osbu was speaking about that that's, when, that's, when, when that's, he went to the macro offices. Uh, for more fire. That I think the, no, the fresh stop. Crazy. The fresh stop offices actually. Was it fresh stop? Yeah, fresh stop. So yeah. Caltex. So you some people were like, "Who the hell is this guy? Why you is the whole stuff going crazy?" You understand what I'm saying? I understand. That's what I was doing. Sure. That's why I brought him into the meeting. But then he's like, "As long yes. as as long as everyone knows their role." Then. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But now Mac is like, "You brought this guy into the meeting, but the problem about this guy is that now after the meeting, he's now blabbing about things that happened in the meeting, and he's talent. He's not supposed to be discussing business." dealings of the actual business you understand okay. what i'm saying is that not something that they could deal with, with yes i but, but what i'm trying to say is that after po- post it's, meeting it's can like they not talk you. about it's it it's like me and you yeah, yeah we discussed that right it's okay we pay you to pay after it's a meeting so yeah. then you say okay this we cannot do this anymore let's just leave it let's find another way that was it that was the only thing that happened that let's, caused that caused you guys to fight you and mac no no it that did not cause I mean, we had an argument uh, right about it we had an argument about it and i said okay. yo bro let's leave it okay you know what i mean we'll okay. we'll find another way the, fast forward to kf i'm sorry so yeah so then the plan was yo let's convince there's no corporate sponsorship so can you guys do us a solid so that this guy can get fair value please please and he is aware of that no he's not aware of that he's talent again so that's when we but you can't say it like that that just sounds so bad no but what do you mean no no, no he's being realistic he's, so yeah, like but he's describing manager, the situation dog. Talents, talents, dog. but hear what i'm saying right yeah uh, no dog this is a business just allow, no, just allow, allow him to continue you, but the, the question you're asking i think when kuleg is because to what we were saying earlier sorry then a story comes out later of I me mean, i didn't know so i don't think this guy's involved he's just lying now yeah, yeah to try and look thing. good yeah and the question is why did you not brief him and then when you say something like, "Ah, oh, come on," but he's just talent. No, no, no. That's and not I'm what I'm saying. saying. We're really to speak also as a as a listener. Yeah. But you didn't listen to the first consumed. part. No, no, no. You decided to not communicate. All right. At a different perspective. From another side, someone is listening, thinking, "Ah, but who knows?" Is speaking down on this? Oh, because it sounds like you're like. I never no, but said don't, that. I know. Mac is the one who said this man is talent, and I'm saying that I wanted to play full cards, full transparency. I wanted to be transparent. Mac was the one who says, "No, this guy is talent." And it's going to fuck up things because the way he's behaving, we cannot trust that he And will... you decided to carry that into the Kai FM discussion. Do you know what? Because he's talent, let me actually not involve him and let me do this thing. No. That's what... That, I'm saying I'm having a conversation with Mac, an argument. No, forget that part. I'm no, that, 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 what I'm trying to say is this. I'm saying, yo, let's play open cards. Mac is saying, no. I heard that. After what happened in this previous meeting, sure. no more of that. This man is talent. If you're going to do something... That answers your question. You understand what I'm saying? Who knows I wanted to play open cards? Yeah. Max said no. There that's you what you are asking. Yes. You understand okay. what I'm saying? Okay. So then I said, that's our argument. But you see the that's problem. My, that's you my see, argument with Mac. Pro- I'm like, the problem is... But Mac, you see, if we don't play open cards, the, the ambiguity is like, you know, it's like... But at the same time, Mac is also thinking to himself, yeah, you want me to play open cards with a guy who's sitting with office from a radio station who won't even tell me, who wants to announce after he signed the contract. Yeah, yeah, understand? All, that, that's all, what he's all thinking of in his these head. stories are actually making me sad, by the way. But yeah. Let's carry on. But you understand what I'm saying? I, you, I also empathize with him. Because I'm like, okay. Pimmel, if you think yo, yo, to yourself so, that... So, so can, can, you, can I say this? If we're thinking that Pimmel... Yo, no, yeah? can I say this? We are 30 minutes in, right? Yeah. My my original question was about the confrontation yeah. at Starbucks with you. Yeah. So I'm feeling, and I don't like being a bitch nigga, I'm feeling like I'm talking about other people's business so deep it into it 30 minutes no like but the thing is that but, but my thing is this. I, no, no, I, I get it i'm just it's saying we, we've done it now for 30 minutes yeah let's fast forward to how the confrontation happens and what is the reason i why? cannot let me tell you why because that will take away the context because the reason why i felt the way i felt mm-hmm. is because of the work that i'd done to assist this guy 
You understand yeah. what I'm saying? And if you remove I, I, that context, I get a chance, if by you the remove way. that context, if you remove that context, no, I'm not right? I'm going to stop you. No, I, I, I just so, want to say something. Who can buy my or sisters? <sighs> I'm just, just saying. Quickly, I'd like, yeah. I'd like to get a quick, chance. Quick, quickly, 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 quickly before like, he talks. No, no you I'd like to get a chance to just speak about protecting people that we care about. Yeah. No, please carry on. So, so, so now I've done this effort, right? And the thing is that I've been told don't be transparent with this guy. Sure. By the actual owner of the channel i hear you right so, so now with, i have to with, with valid which reason is, for which is saying. against my values so therefore i say yazin i'll do this and i'll leave it zosborna and you'll deal with your talent on your own and that's where we have our argument myself and mac yeah that's the you understand because yeah. i'm like the way of doing it like this i understand what the insecurity is behind it but i still don't support it because mina i'm an open cards guy i'm a guy who i don't keep secrets stuck you know that you know? oh don't tell me you're never secrets. telling you anything do, ever but don't don't do I things think it's, that you would want to keep been, secrets it's been pretty apparent recently <laughs> it's pretty apparent it's i don't I, like yeah 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 but then, seriously like why no, would you I, tell I me you. something that you I want to keep you. secret dog keep yeah, it secret but dog. no there's there, there is value to secrecy amongst brothers I know. No, because it builds up. No, no, no. The stuff that I will always protect you. Yeah. Um, I will go to war. Yeah. On your behalf, on certain information that you've given to me or I've I've given to you, because I know that there is a bond created and there's value to that bond. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So there is value to secrecy. Yeah, um, and yeah, some notes as a confidentiality. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's something. He has a different value system. I understand his value system, by the way. Mm. You just want people to know what to say. Who notes as a very transparent guy. So, yeah, at least it comes with a warning sign. Rather don't tell him. Yeah. He can be angry with you later. Yeah, like, but, it, dog, I know you would have you, told you someone. Knew, you knew in advance. So, I'd rather not. You knew in advance. But I still love you nonetheless. So, I'm happy you're saying it on record. Don't, yeah. don't give this guy secrets. Yeah. This guy. Yeah. You understand? Don't do that. Why would you now put me a burden of but you, I don't oh, even keep my own secrets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, that seriously. Is, the, the, sure. the thing is this, is that, sure. you know, so so all of this is happening, right? While all of this is happening at the same time, I'm also going through turmoil in my own home. You must remember, my wife left the house on the 13th of Jan, whatever. We're having fights and everything else. We're having arguments. Mm. Obviously, Mac knows all of this shit because he's my friend. So we speak about all of this shit. I'm not keeping it a secret. He knows about what's going on in my life. Mac G keeps secrets. There's a guy you can yeah, take to war. Yeah, he does. There's a guy you can take yeah. to war. Well, he told so. Well, Ah, carry on, no. But, but, but it, it was never, okay. Let's, 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 let's give it credit. credit. Let's give him credit that no. I didn't know until June. Like no, no. no Mac like, kept it secret, dog. He's my yeah, yeah, and yeah. he can keep secrets. Yeah. He does a lot. No, a so lot of secrets. Also, a guy you can take to war. He also kept it secret. No, he didn't. So oh. he didn't because he said, "Yeah, and I knew th- about this whole entire thing long time." Even, yeah. But eventually, <laughs> no, no, when no, no. When he was that, angry, that, no, 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 no. But, but you retaliated me when, when everyone, when and it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like but when you, everyone you out started finding out, from a secret, no. it only happened when everyone started finding out. The only other person who knew this, right, was Mac. <laughs> and let me tell you what Mac did when when I was going through that most. Mac then um, sent me a coaching session from his uh, performance coach just to help me through a dark time because I was in a dark time at that point in time. Also, you know? shout out to your home for also not letting it out. I also just want to Ooh. say that as well. Ooh. No, you're saying no one knew. And for the fact that even your home, you said there were issues at home. Even yeah. your home itself was no, not No, my home sending. is just me. There's no one else in my home. I'm my, saying, my what, whatever whatever home. turmoil was happening no, in your I, home. My parents Dr. didn't even know. Pasani, did you know? No, 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 no my, nobody knew. Please okay. hear me. Yeah. Whatever was happening in your home, if there were other people involved, I'm yeah. saying kudos to those people as well for yeah. also not going around. Yeah. No, my my family. So shout out to them. I, I, I've been in the public eye uh, since 1999. Mm-hmm. My family has known how to keep um, things like. You know what I mean? They know that. My family don't speak to journalists or anything. That's why you'll never see a quote of, no, we spoke to Nota's father and he said A, B, and C. If I bring my family to the media... Nota's the only person that blabs clearly in his entire circle. Yeah. In his entire circle. Yeah. He's the only leak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the leak. Yeah. He's the mole. I, I'm not a leak. I'm transparent. <laughs> I'm see-through. So... Yeah, we can see. So, so, so now this is happening at the same time, right? Uh, Mac is going out there. He's um, running a whole entire story of um uh uh casper Nervous, whatever whatever andy limpisane that whole entire thing clean right and then he's getting hammered by casper's fans and they're also hammering soul and soul is like simping on it on the say so on the same at the same time on the timeline i'm like also now adding more fuel to the fire and because i've got an actual um conflict with casper right i say let me let me take this one off your hands bro because otherwise you're going to now drag the podcast into a beef with Casper, and that's exactly what he wants. So let me be the asshole. That's what who wants? 
Casper. Okay. You understand? Let me be the asshole. Let me dig in deep. I'll that, be the bad guy. I'll be the bad All guy. All That launches the attack from Casper and your best fans on me. You understand? And on my wife. And that sends her into a mental health spiral. Like, she is... I'm unable to speak to her like and reason like a normal person because she's been on her Twitter and thousands of messages from CBP and start coming in. Your husband must kill himself, whatever, leave this, whatever, whatever, what a trash, whatever, gossip manga, whatever, whatever, all this type of shit. You right? understand? That's what Casper Nuvis incites his fans this to do. This all makes me sad, man. And he does this, he does this, he does this. And then while this is happening, right? Obviously, my wife leaves on the 13th, which is the same day that my Mosiac um, interview comes out. And also, on that very day, I sleep over at a friend's house because while I'm arguing or uh, having a confrontation with my wife, I don't know what type of state she might be in. She might do something crazy, insane. And this is a person with a blue ticks, hundreds of thousands of followers and everything else. If she posts something, right, yeah. and I'm, or she, she records a video like, you know, Jada did to Will Smith, like, hey, 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 my brand is my face. You understand? I don't want to be in that confrontation situation. Yeah. So I slept over at my friend's house. You know, I went and trolled ankle tap on the timeline there at Wi-Fi, uh, at YFM. You know, I was just enjoying myself. Your, was... pro your problems are many, Chief. Yeah, and, and it keeps on creating others. <laughs> yeah, you understand? No, it but it's, it's content. Your problems it was content. are many, Chief. It was content. So uh, we made content. You know, we moved over it. And then after like a week of my wife not being there, I call my, my, my sister and I say, dude, I'm sitting here in my crib all alone and I'm feeling suicidal. Like I've turned off all my social media. I think I tweeted my last tweet on the 20th um, of January. Uh, then um, uh, I've taken off everything. I call my sister because that's how I'm feeling right now. When I do that, I'm not doing that because I want attention or whatnot. I'm just saying I'm calling my sister because that's my, one of my cooking mechanisms. When I go to a really low doldrum, is that I speak to someone close about how I'm feeling because that also helps you out because then your, your friend is able to counsel you and make you see reason yeah, in that yeah. point in time, right? Yeah. If you really want to kill yourself, you don't tell anybody. Like, if you really want to do it, you do it. I, you know I understand and you what, exactly notes. what you're saying. Exactly. So yeah. I was on the preventative. Yes, please please help me. This I book cry out for help. help. You yeah. understand? And because I hadn't spoken to my sister about what's actually happening, because I also haven't spoken to my wife, because when she decided to do it, I said, you know what, I'm going to let you come back to your senses and I'll speak to you then. I can't even call you because if I call you and now I'm, you've got five missed calls or whatever, who knows, you can take a screen grab, we are a court, which is now you see he's harassing he's me, harassing. whatever. You understand what I'm saying? I can't even text you because you're, oh, you're born. You understand? I, I just left it like that. I just said, hey, I love you. I care for you, clean. We meet, my wife and I, on that day to have lunch. I tell her, yo, like, you really did me dirty. I tell her everything that I needed to say, whatever, whatever, and I, how I feel and how betrayed I felt, you know, um, for her, she's my wife. She's supposed to be there to support me through thick and thin. Thin, sharp. Then I cry to my homie, Maggie, <laughs> you know, um, uh, and then I tell him, no, I'm flying to Paul, okay? I go to uh, my parents' house. I park my car there. I send my little brother a text. I say, I park my car here. I'll be back, right? I, I block my sister, I block... Because now she's pestering me because she now wants to, you know, after I told her what I told her, I was like, yo, relax. I'm coping with it, right? Like, my sister is overbearing sometimes. She wants to be controlling. It's from, it's from a place of love. No, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. She was worried about me. So I, I know, I accept that and I embrace that. I understand why you blocked her, but yeah, yeah we need I to emphasize my wife that it's from a place else, of love. But my yeah. brother, I didn't block. Sure. And I texted him, Fana, don't worry. Do not panic. Nothing is going to happen to me. Because mm -hmm. I'd already told my sister. I'm like, why did I tell my sister? Because now she's going to tell my dad. And, oh, no. It's going to be a big thing. I fly to Paul. <laughs> when I land. Family meeting. When I land in Paul, right, mm -hmm. I get a call to come shoot Heavy Hitters. Uh, the show that I did on SABC1. Right? Um, uh, it from a gossip show. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I get, I get a call to do Heavy Hitters. Is it with... Um... Naked DJ, Naked DJ oh, and yeah, Kamu, yes, I yes, yes. Kamu yes. So I get a yeah. call to do heavy hitters. They want me to be like a guest presenter on the show, whatever, whatever. I say, yo, I'm in Paul right now, but I'll come next week and we'll see. Okay, cool. Um, and um, they say, no, we'll even pay you for the shoot. I was like, yeah, if you can afford me, I won't do anything. I, I don't sit down for less than 40K a day. So, you know. Um, are you, are, do you want to bring Nota back? Yeah, and your phone number, I'll be redirected back to 
Yes. Okay. What happened? Let me, what let happened? Me bring him, let me bring him back. Yeah. Because yeah. um, I mean, are, I'm you, are you okay though? I'm all right. Just as people no, that care about you. Okay. No. I, I, are you okay? Yeah. Obviously. Do. Uh, as I'm, when you're trying to go to no wait 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 you're trying to go to I'm always okay. It's okay to say I felt fucked up in this moment. I'm feeling better. When I felt yes. Are you okay now? Yes. Now. Are you okay now? Even if recently you have felt shit. Are you okay now? Nothing wrong. Yes. He's asking me right now. Let me bring it back. I'm talking about then. I was at the point. Oh yeah yeah. It's easy. It's easy to talk about. Then, sorry, sorry. It's sure. easy mm. to talk about then, but you have to acknowledge that we go through waves of emotions every week as human beings. Mm. And for you acknowledge about in Fallapool as a human being, but whenever people are attacking you, sometimes you do feel shit. Not that you want to mm. kill yourself or anything like that. For you acknowledge, so long as you're not going to die. So you remember yeah, that episode that we did? Yeah, yeah. After yeah. The, and I expressed myself. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I even was swearing, I was pinwelling. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um... <laughs> So, for the, so even in that episode, even in that episode, we had blankets on, and you, I could no, see I that did you, it first. I just you, didn't do it like you. You were going through the most. You <laughs> have to, to have, like, you have to acknowledge hey. that, that you're feeling shit. <laughs> <at> <laughs> <certain> <laughs> times. Yes. I'm I'm right. Sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, the confrontation with Saul. Yeah. yeah so now, so now we get to the point where, you know. Um, everything has gone on. Things have happened in my life. Me and, and Mac are still you know, supporting each other, having a friendship. Um, I, I, I post my last tweet on the timeline. I fly to Paul. When I fly back the very next day, the 21st, I find out that Patrick Shire has killed himself. And I, I also realized that the same thing, that the same people that trolled my wife and made her feel the same way that she felt, and the same people that were trolling me, Right, but because I'd been trolling Casper for so long, I'd managed to block like probably ninety nine percent of his fan base, mm. like of those trolls that actually attack. So I I wasn't getting that attack anymore. Mm. But my wife hadn't done that, so she was getting a hundred percent of that as attacks, and she felt the way she felt and fled. I want to stop you. Quickly. So then, so then I felt like, damn it, on this day, this nigga was actually killed by those trolls that actually attacked him. That they attacked him to death. So we've gone through so much. Mac even steps in. He gets me counseling, right? The first person I speak to after Patrick Shire's death is Ricky Rick. I tell him, yo, bro, I was feeling suicidal three days ago. This is on the 23rd of January now that I'm speaking to Ricky Rick. Um, I was also feeling suicidal a couple of days ago. That's why I tweet, posted my last tweet. I'm not even on the timeline. Nah? Moving, 23rd of January. Very important. That's the last conversation I had with Ricky Rick because he ended his life on the 23rd of February. Um, and... Um, and all of this has happened, and I'm seeing how actually the people on social media, these toxic people, are able to like drive like watch Black real Mirror. psychological nails into your brains. You watch Black Mirror? Yeah. You've and, seen that episode? Yeah, and hate, hated Temen by yes. the nation or hated exactly, in the nation. Exactly. Hated in the nation. And then now you want to feel like you want to, you know, take your own life. So I've emerged from that, right? We emerge from that. We organize a, a way to keep soul on the podcast as well through our connections at kaya fm and all of that has been done i want right? to ask you something and me. then and then even when he gets that job at at, at kaya right clean it's not about okay fine um uh uh uh, uh, uh I, i've got a, a big announcement to make yo uh I'm, I'm going to be joining a kaya fm next week no it's Yo, did you hear Dino Ranaka is, is joining Kai FM? I wonder who's going to be a co-host. That's what Mac G says on the show. Mm. Souls on the show and he says, hmm, me too, I wonder. How can you wonder when you're sitting with the contract? And the thing is that you're sitting with this contract, you don't even know that Mac is part of organizing that contract for you. That's why he even knows that you've got a contract at Kaya. He, you don't know that because you're a talent. And obviously, he kept things closed, cards and closed secrets, right? The and he doesn't know makes how they. So sad. You, you know, he doesn't know how it actually it transpired. The following week, now that Kaya has posted, that's when oh no, hey Saul has now got a big announcement. He's going to be joining Kaya. What? I'm not leaving the podcast and everything else. But then I was like, dog, your behavior just shows you're keeping secrets from the person who you're on the podcast. You like if you get an offer. Right to go on a radio show, I'd expect you, as soon as you get that offer, to speak to Smoo, if you're a regular contributor on his show. If you're a regular contributor here, I expect you to speak to Ngululek. I want to ask a I'm question. Ju I'm just saying, uh, me, because of my transparency, but you can ask you whatever question. If I'm not wrong. Sure, I had two questions. So the first one is going to be like, if, if you're speaking hated in or by the nation, Black Mirror, the danger of cyberbullying, mm. do you never wonder if you're also part of the destruction of other people's mental health 
No. Whoever, whoever you're trolling. I don't need to wonder. Maybe they're not as strong as you. Maybe they get triggered by the things you say. Maybe, no. for example, you could be hurting a, a soul himself. No. He no. might be hurt. I already before you answer, before you answer, before you answer. The second question was going to be, this is why I, I needed to ask earlier and confirm, Usol does not own Podcast and Chill. Mm. You guys keep emphasizing that is talent. Mm. Those of us that have worked in corporate, when you're going to, for job interviews, when you're going, we don't normally tell our bosses for various reasons. So I don't know, and this is not me defending him. Yeah. I don't know if maybe Sol was thinking, when you're I in can't really tell this guy from, from, because... You're not in corporate. From, 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 from Sol's perspective, from Sol's perspective sure. he's playing his cards. He doesn't know that. Close so, to his chest. Sure. From, yeah, so so from, from so I'm just, I'm just yeah, thinking... Okay, cool. That's your second question. Notes. So I'm just thinking, if you hired me as an employee in your company, I can't now come and tell you, hey, I've just been hired just somewhere fine. else. No, 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 no. no just, that is completely just, wrong. As an employee, that's normally how employees think. I don't know if that's how that's he was thinking. That's a stupid way to think. But my question to you well, is, that's, 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 do, that's do you not think... corporate experience. That yeah, but this is not a corporation. Yeah. Yeah. Podcast you, and Chill is not a corporation. Here's my question. So it doesn't... It, it, that, that, what your example here's does not question. apply to Podcast and Chill. Here's my question. It, it, it does not. Here's my question. And also, it does not apply to a place where we're not in a back office. We're actually... Tell it. Yeah, we're on screen. Mac G, as much as he's the owner of the uh, of the show, he's also talent. He's talent and owner. Let me so ask. They, they, Let me when, ask they, so when, when the cameras are rolling, all of them are playing as talent. Yeah, cool. Just do continue. You, the, so the second question is: do, do you not think there's a chance that that's where Saul was coming from? Yeah. And, but, that's, and that's why. No, he, that's fine. He wasn't able that's to. That's the jealousy, raise it though. At the time. That's the jealousy, and it's like ish. Yes, in seven zero, in seven zero eleven, and aling patal alko nogung patal. You understand what I'm saying? Meling is Pandele elsewhere. You understand? And already he's seen. He's been taken to meetings to try and get him other bags and everything else. So he sees that, right? That niggas are trying. So if you see that I'm trying my best, dog, I cannot afford to pay you, right? But also at the same time, anytime I do something, like Ntengi Moto, oh, let's say, Ntengi Moto, whatever. Oh, let's say, you understand? And you can see the jabs that Saul, me, I was observing his behavior. You need to understand that. I was, do, you, do you really think he's malicious? He, he's, he's, he's always, if you watch the show. And if you watch the show when he talks about me, right? Saul, if you watch the show, even when I was saying nice things to him, sending him, helping him, sending him links to things that I'm watching and sharing, you know what I mean? Trying to get perspectives. When he would be on the show and something would be a controversial about me, he'd always have a negative twist. Oh, no, it's how cool Brianstein. I'm like, I call him afterwards. I'm like, dog, I didn't grow up in Brianstein. Why would you lie about me on a platform that's got hundreds of thousands? Are you going to go back next week and apologize about lying? You understand? To tell people that I grew up in a house in Brianstein. My parents were never in Brianstein. You understand? You, 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 uh, you really think he's malicious? Yeah. That is malicious. That is a very uh, malicious thing. Yeah, for me, it doesn't Because, go, okay, I've that's never, fine. You, no, hold on. I sat in an episode with Saul. Yeah. And I saw the malicious nature. You and I can debate, right? But I've never said that you are malicious so, in your so debate. So there's real there. beef, because this is now what leads up to the confrontation. No, no, no. He's got beef with me. I hear you. And now, and, and, and where, let me tell you where the beef it's comes from. It's not you it being a from, good person. It's saying, from inferiority complex, dog. I'm and holding you to account. When it's you, you give saying, only, I don't think you like me, dog. Yeah. I know you don't like me, dog. Yeah, so I know that, you're pretending. So I'm stepping up to you to tell you, I know you don't like me. I know you don't like me. I know you don't like me. I know you don't like that's me, it. right? You don't like me. You've always hated me. So there was I've always been good to you, right? But you've always had this thing in for me. And I don't know but where it comes know. from. So the, Starbucks, so the Starbucks was not a confrontation of, the, that's of a brotherly nature. It was. I came to them and just, I, I just greeted. After you, you saying what you've the just things said that I greeted. No, the things that I greeted everyone at the table. This was a chance meeting, people. by the way. Yes, it was a chance meeting. Oh, okay. He was at Starbucks. You guys happened to be at the same place at yeah, the same Yeah, at Starbucks. Time. You I understand? And I was there with Ria Khopane and Stingajig. I don't believe that, actually. You, you but no, you have, no, no, but no, fuck you, no, man. We can't, we cannot be on camera and then you just say you don't believe that, dog. I, I don't no, you're calling me a fucking liar, dog. You're calling me a fucking liar, dog. So now I must call uh, Ria Kopane and say, yo, why was I at Starbucks? We were going to fucking Proud Mary, dog. And I was at a meeting with Mansa Main, who was meeting with a guy who wants to do a sneaker deal with him. And I said, no, let's rather just have this meeting here at, at, at Starbucks because we're only going to get coffee. We just ate. We just had a meeting. So it's a chance. It's a chance fucking meeting, dog. I'm not at Starbucks for anything. I don't go to fucking Starbucks. I don't go to fucking Rosebank. Yeah. I'm a four ways guy. You have everything in four ways, <laughs> dog. Yo, yo. We've got no reason to leave. Yo, sure. relax. You remember that I probed you about um, Stogi and how that happened? Yes. That's why I'm saying I don't believe it. No, Stogi, Stogi, right, called and asked and called Yanga and said, oh, is this nigga there? Oh, I'm coming now. And Yanga didn't tell me. So when I saw Stogi, I saw him, but I never knew that he called. Mm. 
You understand? And I never knew that he was put there when he arrived. They said, no, we want to separate you. I never knew that. It's like, it's, it, it, you don't tell me that, yo, I didn't Sol. tell you when Sol was... I, I told you about Sol when it was coming here, yeah? mm -hmm. but uh, we had our own discussion. No, but I'm imagine if we were in the same room. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm saying we're going to be in the yeah, same room, in the same venue. Even when Reason was about to be here, mm -hmm. I cancelled it because you were going to be here around the same time. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, time. cool. So now imagine if... You, you didn't even cancel it. You allow us to be in the same room, but you say, okay, Mvana, when I was on the entrance, laying in the entrance, and then say, Atlanga. You know what I'm saying? Why did you go up to Seoul? Why yeah, 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 exactly. Okay. Like it's, a, it's, so, a, it's a big... So, a no, big the reason why I went up to Seoul is because Ria told me that he's there. Sure. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted to diffuse the situation. I wanted okay. to say, bro... You were going there with good intentions. I went there with good intentions. I said, dog, you can say, you can talk shit about me. Yeah. Even the people that were at the restaurant, they heard that. Yeah. I said, dog, you can talk shit about me. Just leave my wife out of it, dog. Sure. Say my name. Sure. Don't put her name so, into it. Because why do you always have to drag her into it? She's sure. never done anything to you ever. You understand what I'm saying? And I understand that you're using her to get at me. Don't use her to get at me, dog. You can get at me. Mm. You can say whatever you want to say about me. Max says whatever he wants to say about me. You've never... Oh, no, I think we've created a monster with notes and everything else. And me and Mac are cool. Because we know that's banter and everything else. I want to ask a question. No, I just, I just want to get to that. Okay. So I'm thinking to myself, bro, I'm coming to you. In peace, dog. I'm just standing there nicely. Dog. I need you, dog. Look at me, dog. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm saying, yo, dog. Sure. Let us bury this thing because it's not constructive. Did you, did you intend to record That's what it? it? That was it, dog. Did you say with an did open you hand. To yes, that was it. Did you intend to record it on, on visual? No, only after it escalated. When it escalated. Mm. That's when it escalated, dog. Why did it escalate? Do you know, do you know? Do you know what happened? Unewo calls me. While I'm sitting, I'm sitting next to Saul. Oh yeah, Neil was looking for me. Yes, he was looking for you. So he calls me on a video call. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, How you were involved I'm, in the beef? No, I'm, I'm being interviewed by you. No, I'm kidding. Oh, yeah. Oh, why am I involved in the beef? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. I'm being interviewed. Yo, I'm being interviewed by you. So this guy can't get off him. Interview me, and they can't get a hold of me because they call me. And they call me. Saul. So my evil on the phone. But yeah, no, so I was recording it. Saul, I need recording. He video call, mm -hmm. video call, and this guy is like an emergency. Yeah. Were, you, were you guys having a cordial conversation? Yes, we're sitting up, next to up until that point. At, yes. So there was no fighting. So I'm, like, up up I'm not recording point. you. I'm showing him sure. that Mpana, he WhatsApp call. Sure. I'm not recording you. Sure. I'm showing him, like, you understand what I'm saying? Sure. Then there's this other guy at the table who's now grabbing my phone. I'm like, dog, don't grab my phone. I punch his hand. Jesus, can't do we all. No, I punch his hand off my phone. Yeah, dog. You shouldn't grab my property. <laughs> no, hold on. But you can't grab my phone. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Sorry, it, sorry. Just so you know, right? Um, you'll probably watch this before Thursday, um, next week, right? And on Thursday at six thirty, you'll watch these nails be taken off Ooh. at the Capital Embassy Spa in Santon while I'm on Selima Tunzi. So, um. Sorry, so you guys so are having a cordial so conversation. Yeah, yeah. And then and Nero calls, and then, and then this, this guy, guy thinks I'm you. recording him. Sure. I'm not recording you, I'm on a WhatsApp. I'm like, fine. And you're like, leave, the, leave my phone. Phone, phone, leave my phone, phone, dog. Leave my phone, dog. It's my phone, dog. It's my property. Do, don't touch me. Sure. Like, why Melis Mambani, dog? I'm trying to have a conversation with this dude. And you must remember, when I'm having this conversation, I'm trying to explain to Saul, because I watched the Ngulu Lego interview, and I'm like, yo, bro. I'm not sure I understand what you're saying. No, that's exactly me. Sure. And then he has one who's doing recording. Sure. Like out in for a lie. Sure. You understand what I'm saying? And he's a podcaster. He's the guy from the illegal podcast. I'm like, yo, yeah, this is the guy from the, the illegal, illegal podcast. podcast. This is the guy from the illegal. I'm like, don't. So this is the guy from the illegal podcast. These guys don't like me. It's fine. No, no, no. It's fine. Don't no, worry. Worry. no, no, they, no, no. They, they love me. It's fine. You will be there one day. So, so it escalated from there. Oh, Mvana, why are we escalating now? I mean, I'm not recording so you. Who so who escalated first, him? Who? So uh, yes. Uh, well, we can't so, really verify because that he's shit. the guy who. Gra no, I'm saying so. A guy grabs your phone, you punch his we hand. But, uh, but, but no, no, listen to me, Lego, listen, dog. Listen. No, 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 no. Wait, okay. Lego, dog. If I'm saying something, and now you are saying we can't really verify that, you're calling me a liar, dog. No, you I'm are. You are. No 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 no, 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 no. I understand no. that. Up to the point no, no, no. where you can say, well, we'll need to look at the video footage from the place. No, 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 no. From the security yeah, cameras right yeah, yeah. to see that in context but if you say sure. we can't really verify that you actually can okay that's that, you can you okay. can go so, to so, so, wait, so, wait, wait, wait. Let, let me let me adjust my statement okay. we can't re verify it just what you're saying we can't verify what he's saying up to a point where we see cctv cameras i even said this when there was an allegation of musa kaula and Moshe 
I said it's insufficient information for me based on that clip that that's okay. actually Musha. So there's would witnesses. Have to see the there's Ria Kopane. Yeah. There's Black Steph. Yeah. There's Mansa Main. All of whom are YouTubers. And 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 when I speak to Ria and I was supposed to speak to him, that's one of the things I'm going to ask him. What happened? Okay. From your account. From your account. I'm still listening okay, to cool. your story. So you, okay, cool. you punched this guy away from your. No phone. no no! I punched his hand off my. <laughs> yes. Punched his hand off his phone. Yeah, like I punched who, him on the wrist. Who, who then escalates is what I'm asking. Is no, he's the guy. Yes, yeah, the guy. That guy. Does he escalates. say fuck? He stands dog. up. Yeah, because. And then who, what happens? Because I'm telling you, it's, it's not working for Starbucks. He, it's with Soul. He's with Soul, okay. trying to sell Soul to promote his brand. It's okay. like guys who give Soul clothes. Okay. He's just one of those people. So he gets angry. I don't. I don't know why he's getting angry. And then what happens? And I'm saying, Soul, Soul, calm down. Then Soul. Then Soul. Then you pull out Soul from there. No, no, no. I get up. Okay. I get up because now, like, I'm saying, I'm grabbing for my phone now. Sure. I get up, I'm like, yo, sure. what's going on, dog? Sure. And I'm like, dog, sit down. Sorry. It's not, I'm not fighting you, dog. You're making it something now. Yeah. And spam on demand, your dog. Mm. Sit down, dog. I'm having a conversation with you and I'm trying to, yo, smoke the peace pipe. Mm. Like, seriously, dog. Like, I'm not, I'm not here to fight with you, dog. Mm. And that's what I was saying even in the video. You can see, I'm not in a fighting stance, in fun. I'm not in a fighting stance. What happens from there? Then I was like, okay, fine. Clearly, the conversation is not going anywhere. Mm. So then I was like, I clean. Start recording. Record. Content, yeah. Let me take this content. <laughs> content, yeah. And monetize it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're in the content business. That's wrong. And sometimes you guys have got certain lines that you guys draw about what you can make content out of, what you can't make content out of. Me, I'm a transparent oh, guy. Oh, yeah. You don't have a line. I don't have a line. You don't. This is you, what I was you, asking. You don't, do you, do you don't not worry line. about hurting people. So yeah. Let me answer that. No, no, I want to answer that question. Yeah. So if I am going at Seoul, I'm not Seoul Penduga's fan base that attacks me. I'm not Casper Nyovers fan base that attacks people. Yeah. You understand that? When you say cyber, it's when you are attacked. When I say something about Mitali, I get attacked by her entire fan base. Mm. Now I am one person saying something by myself. I don't inspire. A whole in, I don't have an army of fans that will now attack me thoroughly on my behalf. Nobody does that. Nobody. How do you know? I'm telling you, I've seen it. Because I've seen on her time, and she doesn't have an army of my fans saying, yo, people, fuck you. you are, people do reference you at times when they, they say can stuff, reference. I would know I was right about I, you. I was right, but I wasn't attacking. I was t I was actually making an observation. And someone but can who make an who observation. But who decides that? Okay, who so, decides so, that so when are you going to swear? Are you going to swear JJ Daban? Are you going to go punch JJ Daban? Because he makes observations as well. On, on, on truth to power and all that type of stuff. So I'm a media personality. I comment on things that are happening in the society, in the media. Yeah. You know? Do you, is, can I take a step back? Sorry. Are, uh, are cracking. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. I thought you... I want to no, ask a yeah. question quickly, sorry. Uh, um, do you want to use this? That's yeah, it. yeah. Okay. So, so you, went, you went up to Seoul to, oh, what, okay. Let me to, get you to basically ask him uh, or to tell him, please... Okay. Thank attack you. me it's fine but please leave my, my wife out of it that's yeah. it that's all i was saying do, do you yeah. never think for example when you raise things like how saul lost some of his past work etc as factual as i don't raise it he raised it he's the one who's spoken about it publicly on a platform with yeah. hundreds of thousands of viewers but and i'm saying hold it you trigger people when you when you raise certain things so why would he say it why would he reveal something Thank that you. he feels that he cannot handle being it being analyzed because you put it in the, the public domain we wouldn't be speaking about it if you never put it in the public domain yeah. you understand what i'm saying when no, i put something I'll, in the public domain it. i also know that Yo, i'm not responsible no for job. how people respond do to you it. not do you not get how it's hurtful to to solve him it, you, you dog, heard, when you people say people. something that are hurtful to me, right? Yeah. I understand that I'm a public persona. You, you, you can, I know, no, no, I, so, no, 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 wait, so wait, you no, guys no, no. are, you guys are public figures. You yes. are so a public figure. All of, all public yeah, figures and, have and, to and, take and, criticism. And when we have a back and forth at, at that interpersonal level, mm -hmm. right? We, it's direct pain inflicted by you to me. Mm. We, that's the reason why I've always said I don't read comments is because I cannot consequence people who say stupid shit about me. I'm a creator. They can consume or not consume. It's up to them. Mm. But when it happens between me and you, um, things being said between me and you, it, 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 it eliminates our opportunity for us to reconcile, to work together. But what things were said between me and him? Nothing was said. Because yeah, yeah, like he's cut off the nas, communication. Yeah, nah, when he was he next cut to off the me, communication. When he was next to me, the way that he was speaking, you could sense that this guy is deeply hurt by yes. you making but why trend, you call? things that are being why said. Why couldn't you call? You see, but, but when Uti, nothing was said. Yeah, but Uti, nothing hurtful was said. Nothing I'm hurtful saying was said. That it's the, an whole, the human being that was next to me. You never think that you're hurting people. Yeah. They what don't. Do they don't reason and rationalize. Okay, so do you? Don't, do, don't, do, don't do, worry do, about do, the fans. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Do you think that after I've just spoken about how millions of people or thousands of people attack me? For saying something that they might not agree with, because of I'm, I speak about someone who is a public person. I don't speak about the guy who's on the side of the road, who's actually, you know, 
not someone. I don't do that. I don't punch down. Like I said, yeah. I don't punch down. I punch up if I punch at all. My you mom's phone. Yeah? Sorry. Please carry on. <laughs> I punch down there. <laughs> I won't lie because that guy wasn't. <laughs> I punch down honest. when it's a phone, I, but I punch yeah, up yeah, other times. Hey, yeah, two relevant. <laughs> you know, 1700 a month. So, um, and don't buy it cash because it's cheaper on contract. Um, so, um, you don't you don't punch down at normal people. You only do it for people that public figures are public figures. That no, like and you were saying they have thousands of he's something. Got, Saul's got a huge fan base, dog. You, you bring him onto your channel, fifty thousand views, right? Yeah, for sure. So clean. So he's got a huge fan base. So me saying this, people are attacking me when I say something yes. about Saul. They yeah. attack me. Say, ah, oh, fuck you. How can you say that? But hey, fuck you. We don't know you. Who the fuck are you? All that yeah. type of shit. Yeah. Do you not think I get hurt by that? You do get hurt. No, I don't. I, 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 why? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because what I had to train myself for is knowing how Twitter works. I used to, number one, I used to manage the social media accounts for Bada Bing Entertainment. That's Slicker's social media account, Sugar Smacks' social media account, um, Questa's social media account. I started all their Twitter accounts, number one. You understand? So I'm used to seeing hate and everything else. On Questa's account, what I used to do is that I used to retweet every single tweet mentioning whether it was positive or negative, and I used to keep him from his social media. Even now, He's not on social media. He's, he's not a guy on social media. He's never online. I'm way offline. Right? That's the, who he is. Because I made sure that, dog, I know that it will affect you mentally. Mm. For me, I've trained myself. But other people haven't. No, I, that I understand. I and, am, you, and you hurt them. No, no, no. One man cannot be hurtful to you. But you can't decide that. Let me tell you why. 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 Because Usol gets hate tweets on Twitter from a lot of people that he doesn't know exactly and that don't have yes. influence and, and, and that and don't trend and, on yeah, Twitter yeah exactly no. like there's, no, no, not, no 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 so the words no, no, no. the words being said by random people are not broadcast no so like, so, like so, now so, we've, so, we've so, spoken so, for so, an hour wait 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 we're broadcasting so Saul can this. say every negative thing he wants to say we're not up, saying wait, no. no no wait what I'm saying to you is this listen what I'm saying to you is this listen to me what I'm saying to you is this I never once responded when Saul said all that bullshit about me on the platform i never tweeted hey this nigga's talking shit about me what what, what? i never said that yeah i'd call him excited lento that you said right i don't mm. mind you saying things that maybe might not be flattering to me but don't say things that are completely blatantly false on such a huge platform dog mm. this is one of the most this is the most influential platform in the country it's the one platform on youtube i think on the continent even you understand what i'm saying mm. and if you're saying things that are patently false about me you are actually destroying my brand it's defamation of character you understand what I'm saying? You are defaming me. I've never defamed him. Yeah. You understand? I've spoken about things that he's spoken about. And used that as a character assessment that he has admitted. I had problems with this. I had problems with this. I had problems with that. You understand what I'm saying? You... Now, wait, 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 wait. Now, this comes after he's done all of those attacks on me. So, to me, I'm thinking to myself, like, when he even says negative things about me, I call him and I say, yo, yo, yo. So, I'm thinking that if I say something that's out of line... He'll probably do the same thing that I do with him. Which is to call me in front of, we say, look, like, okay, please clear that up. You understand what I'm saying? The same thing that I do with him. So for him to now go to DEFCON 8, after he's done the hurtful <laughs> thing. Yeah, it's DEFCON 7. He's on DEFCON 8. But there's no such thing as DEFCON 7. Anyway. So you know, for him to go to DEFCON 8, in front of, it's like really an extreme reaction when I haven't reacted like that to him when he's done much worse things. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm like, so this should... dude, hold on, this dude is clearly showing that the whole entire time he was pretending to like me. He was pretending to tolerate me. Because I've always felt like, hey, this is this passive aggressiveness. If you watch that episode, dog, where on the 100k plaque, you see it, dog. Anything I say, he's always trying to discredit me. Oh, you're this, you're that. And I'm like, uh, no, I dismiss him on that show. You understand what I'm saying? I dismiss him on the show. And I, you know what I do to dismiss him? I dismiss Mac. Ah, Mac, when are you are just a packed down van. Ah, when are you, you understand? Because Mac can take the banter. And so I deflected from when he banters me, I don't hit back at him because I see uh, he takes it personally. I hit at Mac. You understand? And he, oh, he jumps on. So I play the game. You see that he takes it personally. Yes, he takes so it personally. He, so you got an, an idea that he could hurt from... I know that he takes, I know he takes things overly personally. I know that okay. he takes things overly personally. At a certain point, right, you need to also understand that someone can take something that you do personally as well. And if you are going to take the liberty of doing something that could personally affect someone, and even when they call you, say, this affects me personally and everything else, mm. right? And they treat you like that. 
then you should at least give them the same courtesy if they do something that you feel attacks them personally. I'm just saying. Just out of this fairness. This is my last question before I, I rush Out of off. fairness. Out of um, fairness. The, the, the reason you feel that you are not out of line with Saul mm. is particularly because of how he'd been with you before. Yes. If he had not been like that, it's I wouldn't. A it would have been out of line because I, I was it, it, like, it's not like reciprocal. No, it's like how? I'm I, I, like, it's like you're trying to kill an ant with a sledgehammer. I fully understand. Now, from that's your from it. your departure point, that's I fully it. understand. And I'm still the same person after all of that. Who after he said I blocked him, whatever? Oh, no one wants to work with him. All that shit, dog. I actually. I did. Like, no, 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 so work with you anymore. No, no. That's what he says. That's what he says. Imagine. No one, that's what he says on public. I no one will want to work with him. The same thing that Black Coffee would say. You know what I mean? And it's like people would think to themselves, why would a guy like Black Coffee, who can manage himself and his whole entire career, decide to pick on Nota on a podcast to p- actually say, this is one guy that I would not work with? Don't you think that that is some sort of uh, defamation of character? Does this really happen? Yes, on Nestle's yeah, podcast, it, it, did uh, that. Black Coffee said that. Yes, I, I saw clips of that. But, so but, 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 but you would, you would, yeah, you would have to interrogate his logic why he says that. Sure. Yeah. Would, why, why is he saying that? That's at it. a level of... No, he even the, explained the, why he said that. Yeah, but you would have and to... It, at, it's at a level of, It's completely illogical. And not spun on the manager, NJ, you know, it's yeah. Angel, something like that. And the it's thing his is observation this. on on. And the thing him. is about talent... Notice his brand. Yes, I understand. The thing about talent management, dog, if you've got a manager, your manager is going to be called an asshole by everybody because he's fighting for you. That's what Dame Dash complains about. Is that I was fighting for Jay. Hey, now you've got bad role models. Like, oh, Dame Dash. Oh, Dame Dash and I have got haters for days. I love Dame Dash. But can you see what destroyed him? But he's got haters for days. Yeah, I I get it. Can you see what destroyed him? The fact that he was fighting for his artists and their ownership and all of that stuff, Mm. right? And these guys were saying, hey, Dame is... Is a stumbling block. Yeah, but I'm playing. It's a stumbling block. 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 You understand what I'm saying? So, that's Dame, the thing. Dame Dash is an unsung hero, by the way. Yeah, 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 I, that's, I love him every, very and, much. I love and, and that's why... I, that's why but he when, has a lot of when, when the whole entire... Like when, 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 when the whole entire Mac G Casper thing was about to blow up, I said, let me Dame Dash it. Let me be the bad guy. Yeah. Can I, can I, before you... You understand? Because that's, 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 that's what... That's what... Talents... He has to go. He has to go. Oh, okay. Um, before you go... Um, wait, may, maybe I don't have to go. I'm just waiting for a message to confirm. Okay, cool. That's fine. Uh, can we reconcile this uh, and we wrap it? I didn't know that we were going to speak about that video for over an hour. I yeah, like I thought it was going to be 10 I minutes. I feel like a fucking bitch uh, <laughs> as well. Uh, <laughs> okay, let me speak on this microphone. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to give it back to you now. Um, do you have any intention to reconcile? Um, I, s- s- you, you've sat next to me. Mm. And Saul has said next to me, mm-hmm. I think that there's nothing to be reconciled in that relationship, or my observation. Um, no, no, I think that, yeah, yeah, obviously, obviously, that's what I'm saying. Mm. Um, I think that he's hurt by this. I think that I would probably, too, I would, I'm going to give you the mic now. Mm. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm going really to give you the mic now. Sorry, <laughs> there's some, Chokhal <laughs> is still working on my mic. I think from, from gathering from, from, from his feeling when I spoke to him face to face, and also... We we are podcasters. We're trying to create a movement where all podcasters are working together and they're making money. Yeah. I think that that ship has sailed with that relationship as it relates to that relationship. For now. Yeah. For now. Well, no, 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 no. Me, I, I, I'm always on the peace. Dude, as soon as he's ready, as soon as he feels like we can have a, an actual conversation, like sit down, like, yo, let's actually have a conversation privately. You know what I mean? Privately to actually sort it out so that we can get through this. We can unpack yeah. this. Because for me, there's no reason for anybody to be at conflict, especially within the space, because that's exactly what they want to see. They want to see, oh, let's try and create conflict and everything and else. I'm not about that life. It's not about that life. We can banter. We can banter with each so other. I blocked you. We can banter with each other. Yeah, yeah you blocked me back because I blocked you first. So you we can banter. You can, check. you can check. You can check. You can, you can check. 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 Because you, you said Blocker. for so Blocker. when I called him a sellout. So, so unblock and block your food. <laughs> do it because it it, it 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 makes you guys famous to say that you block <coughs> me. So you know that just tells you the influence that I have and um, the <laughs> polarity. <laughs> it's not that I want to be <laughs> influential. <laughs> it's not that I want to. No, it's not that I want to be influential. Go cool. I need to. No, I hear you. I hear you. I hear. You. It's not that I want to be influential. Go cool. I need to be influential. Go cool because there's too many bad influences within our industry, yeah. and some of them need to be rooted out. And I've been saying, I am influential. Yes. You, there's, there's only way to go is up and up. You don't even need to do anything else. You I, just I, need I to know. be on, on podcasts and talk shit and exchange ideas. I know. Who influential already? I know. You Before know. I leave, but I the, make messi- my point. the the okay. but the messiness also also allows me to have new content to talk about. We wouldn't have 
had a whole hour. I didn't want to talk about this. No, no, no. I want to talk yeah, ideas. Take I want to take ideas. You I want to talk ideas. Nigger, talk about people's I don't lives. want to do this. I don't want to do this. I want to talk. We were not involved. We went here. Yes, yes. I want to talk ideas. Yeah, I want to talk ideas. Let's talk about Can I make my point? Sorry, before I leave. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, and I and I said this on the virtual Nkuko to TJ Sbu. As far as possible, because not everyone has maybe got the training that Unota has. Not everyone maybe is as mentally strong as Unota can be. A lot of other people are sensitive out there. And for people that are watching, you know, it's it's Quit. nice and it's Don't fun. Don't do this if you're sensitive. It's, it's nice and it's fun, you know, to be riding and to be laughing and to be what what. But those of us that have a bit of sensitivity and empathy, as far as possible, we need to try and protect people where we can. That involves, or that includes it, protecting the relationship between MacGyver and Saul, the relationship between Utineo and Saul, the relationship between myself and DJ Spoo, yeah. mm. the relationship with anyone, because... All of us. The, uh, and, you know, without realizing it, people start carrying beefs, and, and, I mean, Avela was called talent. Yeah, this guy never really told me this. I opened well, sold out to Spoo. Like, it, it actually hurts. And yes, there's a, there's a time for us to speak about being honest being upfront what is kosher what's not am i allowed to tell you if there's offers how will you take it or should yeah. i rather keep it confidential yeah can i leave can i not leave can i like we have to have these honest conversations but for the people out there that are just consuming and that are just being entertained there's real people's lives here i mean we've seen you made examples oh ricky rick i don't know what caused it to babu patrick shy people literally, i know what caused it and his wife also said what caused it people literally die you know, and it's suicide now. It might be homicide tomorrow because it yeah. starts with punching a phone. It starts with you hurt my feelings. Next thing, and it's so unnecessary. We don't have to go Tupac and Biggie. Yeah, we don't mm. have to hurt anyone. We're trying to like educate and create cool vibes yeah. and banter and yeah, chirp banter, and yeah. fuck you and your ugly nails, dog. Yeah. But <laughs> now you take it personally for, and now for, you block me for some people for my re- nails. For some people, for some people. Re- people. So you transgender, I want. Yeah, but I want to see. It will bring Anyways. the views up, dog. Yo, you have to be transgender for the for the gram, dog. In the presence. Um, Bonilu, who Tevin Campbell, man. Yeah. My my, <laughs> my 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 point is just as far as we can, <laughs> let's let's try and protect the people we care about. We can laugh, we can watch out, yeah. but always at the back of your mind, be like, you know what? Mm. Am I protecting these people? So, let's laugh, let's whatever. So I had this discussion I with my wife. People. I had this discussion with my wife, and she said. Fuck so. Your relationship with McG is long standing and that's until five thirty. And that's the one oh, you need good. to that's the one you need uh, to protect and we'll, maintain. We'll, we'll talk until then. Yeah. So that's do the you one not you think, n- do you not think that perhaps that shows her in negative light? Who? As you reveal that information. Uber, no, Uber, I was I was talking Uber, about Uber, this situation. Yeah, but, but now you are revealing that that she said that to you about soul. That it it, it it sort of No, cancels. she said that no no no, hold on. That's my wife. Relax. Yes. Me and my conversations with my wife, right, are about things that affect me. And I was saying that if Saul is angry at you, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah like if uh, fuck it, because at the end of the day, your relationship that's long standing is with your homie Umek. And that's what yes. you should be protecting. Um, the, uh, I get like, that. Uh, like, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I, I get no, that. but I'm saying I'm, I'm say- saying I'm saying about uh, making uh, peace uh, and uh, obsessing about with it. With her brand as an Afro soul musician, do you not think that when you reveal things that you've said in conversation with her, uh, like she's said right something now, about others? Right now, I, 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 I'm not trying to trying to make my wife look like something she's not. You know what I mean? Because already her actions have have shown that she's willing to 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 you know to play dirty, to even come at me. You understand? In a panic, and whatever is causing her to do that makes her not able to see that she's actually doing damage to us, to our family, to our empire our wealth, you know, everything that we, we represent. Yeah. You've already said that you are not to be trusted with information because you are transparent. Yeah. yeah. Because that could fuck up her bread if she now has an opportunity to be interviewed on Kai FM. Let's say radio was still radio as it was. And no, she no, no. That. There's nothing that's stop, going to stop her from being well, interviewed on Kai but, FM. Yeah, and her music the, plays on Kai FM. I get it. I get you it. Think yeah, that yeah, Sol, yeah, yeah. Hold on, wait. You think that Saul's, what he said is true. There's no truth to that. that I don't have relationships with people like Kai FM. Yeah. I have very strong relationships yeah. with yeah. everybody what, what, what that I've always had a relationship with Kai What I'm saying Kaya. is revealing that information Right. Whatever tension that and I'm trying, happen. And I've had this uh, discussions with my wife, and that, those were her challenges as well. And I said to her, "Baby, this is a context sport." And I said this in the thing. This is a conflict sport, and the thing is that you haven't been in this context sport, and I cannot be subject. I cannot be murder bonged. You understand? Where now I need to be my my wife's handbag, 
and now I need to protect her brand. I need to be Nick Cannon and everything that's else. That's why are guys catching straight bullets? No, but they, 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 we're observing it. That's why Nick that's... Cannon is on his ninth kid. You understand what I'm saying? Because the, w w Mariah controlling him made him now have to go out and now impregnate women randomly. Like, look at the way he's doing it. He's not doing it with relationships or long it's not like he's been dating this girl for this many years and now they're having a baby it's like this girl this girl's having a baby this girl's having a baby we are finding out about these girls because they're pregnant you understand what i'm saying and um that is like not normal behavior for a guy nick cannon he's a child star we've been watching we grew up watching nick cannon you know we shouldn't be seeing him doing this but we know that what he's spoken about from his relationship with mariah and all the traumas that he had to um endure because she's a pop diva and divas are deep my wife is a diva dog my wife is an actual diva, like a Mariah, like my wife is like, yo, I want only yellow fucking M&Ms type shit. You understand what I'm saying? That's just how these divas are. I mean, and I've, I've that's the thing. That that conversation, by the way. No, no, no. I just want you guys to know. No, oh, yeah, no, 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 no I have to deal with a superstar ego in my house. You know how to deal with a superstar ego at work. Yeah. And there's a cut of time. I mean, I, I have to deal with that 24-7, 365. Oh, yeah, there is, there is. There is. You understand like what I'm saying? 20, day. everything. You understand? It's like, you know, I have to roll out the red carpet on the daily every time I leave my house because this person might be snapped up and... When they are seen, they need to have the roll, red carpet rolled out for them. Uh, uh, look at and Uncle I need to maintain... Right. Look at Uncle okay. when you no, 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 look, look, the, the reason why... Sure, 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 to be cool. like, let me just explain this. The reason why I bring that up is, 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 no, it's is, chill, is, is about feel free. information mm. and the people that you share intimate. Like, we are mm. all intimate about information because mm. we want to do business together. Mm. The worry yeah, business is, information is confidential. The, the worry is that in the future, someone is going to be very hesitant to share information, even in relationships and romantic relationships, because um, they know that at some point you're going to say, my wife said this about Saul. And then it makes it difficult for her to navigate things. Like, I'm not saying Saul is powerful, that no. he would block so it. That's like, even thing. that interpersonal engagement. And let me answer that. Yeah. Let me answer that. I also want to ensure that my wife is not dependent on some of the toxic people within this industry. As in, I took a decision as the head of my household, as the head of my family, to say, fuck so Somizi, fuck these guys, fuck all of them. How? You understand what I'm saying? We are not going to now play nice, nice, play the celebrity nice game with sex offenders and all that type shit. We don't How? need that. And also, I said, fuck all these other media things that you think you need. We can do our own PR without needing a press agent or anything else. We can do our own shit. I said, listen... Let's call your uh, um, a previous record label. Let's take your masters. You own your music. My wife is not on the down and down. Her music is getting played more and 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 more. Her streams are going up and up and up and up and up and up. And if I'm the asshole, people will hate me, not her. They'll love her for hating me. You understand what I'm saying? So that's the thing. She wins in every way. Even yeah. right now, she's winning. And what I'm doing right now is I'm making sure that she steals every single Mishali fan that is out there. And as much as they hate me and they're loving her just to hate me, they're going to be indoctrinated by her music because she's actually got talent. She's not just someone who sits there and, and does makeup on the gram or goes on holiday with other people's husbands. You understand? Aye, so, boo. Seriously. So Aye, boo. it's the truth. So, so it's a fact. Dog. We watched it. They posted it. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Why can't we comment about what we are seeing? All right, cool. Thank you very much, guys, for indulging us. We move on now to the to, yeah, to the sphere of ideas. Um, and we really apologize if it, it if it if it got uh, no, don't sideways. Apologize. I don't. Um, don't no, no, no. I, 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 I was just showing you yeah. that my nail is broken. That's okay. Cool. Not, that's not a. Um, I'm not swearing at anybody. I'm just saying that ish. Yeah, but my nail. If I'm having a conversation with a Baluda. clothing brand um, and I'm selling them Ngululego and culture space on and i'm trying to make money from that relationship because we have half a million views per month and we're still growing and they say that because you speak to prisoners and because you speak to uh, these type of people it's very difficult for us to um to to, to sponsor your platform whereas for etsky it because it's just football there's nothing controversial they were easy to come come and and, and sponsor and put money on it yeah. um how do we sell podcasts tina um where are we going to make the where, where are we going to make money as podcasts uh, whilst not censoring our content when are, are brands, up there? when are brands oh, yeah. going to stop pretending when are brands going to stop pretending like they they don't live within society i mean for example if you're going to say yeah but you guys have unsavory characters yeah let's say you're a clothing group Unsavory characters wear your clothing and, and like you're selling clothing. I, you, I don't know. 
I just don't understand the psychology of people that still work for these companies because it's, it's, not, it's not like we're saying we endorse what they're doing. It's a conversation. And the fact that you're there, it just means... Let's use TV as an example. Mm. Those guys will advertise within shows where they may be profiling criminals or, or there's or... news about someone has been killed. But Absolutely. during that news... What about ad, the TV show? What during, about the queen? J- j- as the drug queen, dealers. Yeah, there's yeah. drug dealers yeah. as a storyline. <laughs> but during the ad breaks, all of those guys are there. And it's They're not up. like... Oh my gosh, you guys advertised during a show or during the news where they were showing someone got killed. I think it, the psychology for people that work in these companies is just retarded. I don't think it's psychology. Got... I think it's sure. sabotage. I think these corporates know that we are a, a challenge and we will not get any of their money. Because these corporates, like I explained with Prime Media earlier, Prime Media is owned by Old Mutual. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? And they want to make sure that Old Mutual actually has value from their ownership. Otherwise, they'll sell their thirty percent stake in in, uh, in 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 Prime Media because it's not giving them value, and rather be a customer, just like any other customer, right? Before um, a mainstream media's actual market value depreciates all the way to the bottom, where where podcasting is actually driving it, because we've got real uncut content, right? And um, and what we need to be focusing on is the same thing that facebook focused on is the small mom and pop shop the 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 penwells of this world i don't know if you there's this other guy he's pen the black pen so Come he does this on. thing where as, soon as, as soon as he starts his, his his episode he's got some small business that's sponsoring the episode but either way it is five clipper five clipper for that shout out you understand what i'm saying so now you know if you want to shout out from penwell that's what we need to start doing so that each and every single episode we're starting to get these small businesses and once they start seeing value they'll start spending more and more and let's, more, and more. Let's, so let's, we're not dependent yo, on the let's, corporations let's think about that critically because it affects our whole industry mm. um i don't want us to normalize five clipper it's good mums and pubs it's, it's a good gesture but let's not normalize that um so i, so I want to let, 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 let me break it, break it down we can sure. respond so if it is can not make, on the panel show though on panel the black page yeah I, I get it because it's, it's it's his own platform open of the black pen. it's a it's no um, it's, it's, it's his raw platform yes yes i get it like okay. that's the point it's my, it's my diary panel the black pen he shoots uh, videos from his phone every mm. day and he's got a strong following but still um there's no reason why he can't make if it is he makes three hundred thousand from world sports betting I don't want us to... How many videos can we possibly make, for example, mathematically, how many videos can we possibly make per week? Maybe seven. If you want to take breaks, you, you should... But you're not getting disc views, though, for those. Let me okay. break this down. We can't normalize it because we're going to be devaluing our industry. I get it at a level of empathy and Ubuntu, Uti, it's small shops, you will charge them differently. But... Um, oh, so you're speaking generally. Yes, oh, but it's, I, I, it's, 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 a, it's a teaching moment, but we'll, we'll sure. learn your numbers. But you are the YouTube expert, so yeah, please yeah, teach yeah. us. I want, I want you to understand that when we charge World Sports Betting and we reach 3 million views per month, which we did in August, and we charge them 80 rands per thousand views, mm-hmm. that works out to about 300,000 rands mm-hmm. in that month. YouTube, and we're excluding YouTube revenue alone, which I can show you guys now. Uh, from YouTube so alone, forty thousand rand, but yeah, um, for, no, from 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 YouTube is 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 the money from monetization mm-hmm. is seventy six thousand, right? From <laughs> exactly this, from this month, seventy six thousand rands, and including which, which excludes <laughs> the, 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 the three. <laughs> that's not my money. I don't even. <laughs> have a car. I don't even have a car. I don't even have a car. So okay, continue. That's, that's the company's money. Um, so. What I'm saying is we don't want to devalue. We maintain that 80 rands per thousand so that when you reach half a million views, which is possible for you per month, because all you need is like 20,000 views in one video times five in a week. All you need to do is talk shit about me. You know, um, and, and, cool. and, 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 if minimalist the, let's, I love my what's, what's, what's no the most money child. what's the most money you've ever charged guys we're teaching kids here about youtube money. seriously i'm mean, yeah. teaching him about minimalism <laughs> as well yeah. he loves his test that's also a good thing for him to but we're talking like youtube that. money now no, I, I, need, I need i need to protect the industry I mean, okay, good. how much how much money do you do no, have, what's the most money you've ever charged for a shout out 500 500 rands but let's it's a say, new thing i've been doing i get it but i'm conscientizing you to something else and, and, and no, but I'm, I want to respond to you. Yeah, you, you'll get there. I just okay. want to work out the mathematics. Let's say you do that for in, in five videos, né? 
okay. 500 per video. That's 2.5, right? Sure. That's 2.5, that's 10 in a month. Mm. Vis -a -vis, but you still, your potential reach could even be half a million views in a month, which is a reachable target for you on Pen or the Black Pen. Because I've seen some of the videos do 14,000, 20,000 views, 30,000 views. Though. Um, but I've seen like you do push ten thousand views. It's not normal. I, but I've seen that. I've okay. seen. I've, okay. I've seen it on my on my algorithm. It shows okay. uh, on my YouTube homepage. I'm saying that instead of let's let's avoid devaluing ourselves because you would have to have a higher higher productivity. But we also pen on that. So the, the the difference between three hundred thousand and of course three million views per month is not normal too. But the difference between we saw in Kululego that we don't do three million views a month. We're trying, bro. You motherfuckers, like I, okay, what I, more I, must I, we I, do, I, I bro? We're up. trying. My point to the audience is that whatever we do, <laughs> or to YouTubers, we, yeah, to YouTubers. Watching. Sorry, yes, to YouTubers watching. Whatever we do, let's try and make a point not to devalue ourselves. Upeno is doing a great thing with what oh, he's Oami doing. Owami does her shout outs for three hundred and fifty. Okay, that's a good amount. What's the average uh, view per video? Twenty thousand. That's cheap. Yeah, views. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't. I don't use those types of views. Please, please. So let me speak. Please The first thing I wanted to say is Bonnie Bonato and Cecil John Rhodes were arm wrestling for diamonds before De Beers what what in Kimberley. So then when he came to Joburg to set up, I don't know if it was Rand Gold or whatever. What's that, Ani? I'm arm wrestling. I'm. You understand? The fans need to. While you're explaining it, Guti. Except, please crop this guy out when you guys do that. Give me floor, okay? Give me mute. No, if I go busso bus soul. Um, when he came to Joburg to do the gold mining, he had to sell out to. I think it was Anglo American, a, a small portion. And when I read the story, what I got from it was that the reason you gave them a share was for protection from vultures. When 1990-1994 came and the Blacks came and BEE, JCI, which was the company that came from some of the work that Bonnie Bonato had done. Brett Cable. They, they came and they gave a stake to some of the Black guys, the Omzi Kumalo and the guys, as a form of protection. You mentioned Facebook and I'm just thinking, I wonder if one of the protections, when you I spoke about that, yeah. uh, Prime Media, Old Mutual, that maybe one of the protections, and if you're saying it's sabotage, mm. maybe we need to be willing to sell out a portion of what we're doing to the big guys so that they don't feel like no, no these guys are that's coming what, e manota. that's what they're doing that's exactly that's e extortion manota, e what manota. you're saying is that that's it they're it extorting is extortion. no we can't allow it extortion, but please hear me that's why i had to start with big business people these are multi-millionaires billionaires and we've seen ranks. how it happened with bee that was the extortion sure uh, if you look at it Riavai as an example isan taco's got a stake in there as a mm, form of extortion. A BE, yes so if you guys don't give us a share of riavaya mm. santaco also owns a stake of sa taxi as an mm. example if you guys don't it's extortion yeah, definitely it's exhaust but it's all I'm saying is it becomes a form of protection and it makes us friendly to some of these guys if what you're looking for is money. If you're looking for something else, different story. But if you're looking for money, maybe you need to sell a 5% stake to the old mutuals, the NASPERS of this world so that they can be like, oh, those are our boys. Throw all the money you want because we also get to eat yeah, and way, then we, we get to win. Own 51% by also spending, so in a way we've done that. Then I wanted to speak to what you were saying now you. that uh, obviously Peter Thiel bought a stake in Facebook mm -hmm. even though they were doing mom and pop stores, whatever. Mm -hmm. I believe very much in respecting the process and that means part of it is not forever. Part of it means lending a hand to the little guy. Not because we're doing charity but that's because that's all you can actually get. But to what you're saying is yes, don't sell out. If you look at that 80... Oh, my, my, my point is, don't, let's, whatever we do, is we don't, uh, devalue. don't devalue. Yes, whatever. and I'm saying if you look at the 500 I'm speaking about, compared to my views, there's a chance that I'm charging more than 80 rand per thousand views. So already it kills that argument. You speaking from a place of privilege, because you got a nice corporate to come on, because you could do 3 million views. But in essence, I'm doing this exactly what else? you're doing. Mannequin, it, eh? break, break his no, 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 no. Oh, Fuck! <laughs> Uh, all I'm saying is, I uh, this is this is me hey, yeah, endorsing learn, what eh? you're saying. <laughs> I'm endorsing what you're saying, but I'm also trying to explain that I I agree with don't devalue, but we need to start coming up with some it has to start somewhere. matrices that that measure what's fair. And in that being said, because no one is going to fight for them, this is not charity. This is me saying it can't just be that we're going for big corporates. Mm. There are small businesses that we can help build on our way up. Once we become too big, we'll tell them how they. Go for the next kid that can put you on. Oh, I yeah. can't anymore because I'm big. But for now, 
because I'm a nobody and because there's no knock knocking on my door. And yes, what he just said is, me is a crime. A five clip and whatever. What he just said is what Discovery, Old Mutual, um, who are these other insurance companies? That's price <coughs> fixing. On my momentum way. Hollard. Yes, momentum Ooh, Hollard. When they're all being investigated yeah. by the competition it's for, commission for price fixing. That's why I've even moved my Discovery insurance. You know, I moved from Discovery to 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 I, uh, Epsa I Direct, and I've saved one thousand two hundred rand a month. Discovery increased. Change my, your lighting. My yeah to Epsa I Direct. <laughs> so uh, Discovery increased my premium from it started at two thousand five hundred rand, right? Uh, back in twenty sixteen when I bought my car. Sky in right? No, no, it's uh, they be under investigation. They, they, <sighs> relax. This is why we won't get the bag because we we're, talk, we're talking about the story that is under investigation. Um, so. And it's part of one of these big stories. We've even spoken about yes. Old Mutual here, um, who's also under investigation with them. Um, 2,500 Rand, right? Cool. It increases nominally by like small amounts, maybe like 70 or whatever Rands. Uh, there was a time where I cut off uh, my insurance because I wasn't driving the car. The car was just parked the whole entire time. Um, it was, I didn't have enough cash to extend my maintenance plan. So I was on like 98,000 kilometers. So I just parked the car until I've got a- another 100 thousand rands to extend the maintenance plan to 180,000 rand while I was saving up, right? Uh, and I was using my work car at that point in time. So I, I cancelled the insurance. Clean comes back when I, I bring it back, it's like 2,700 rand a month. Okay, cool. It stays like that. It doesn't really change, right? During lockdown, they give us a discount. So it went down to 2,300 rand a month because of the less kilometers that you're driving, less, right? After lockdown, it gets back up to 2,700 rand a month. And then I put a limit on certain debits, right? Um, from certain accounts like my insurance it needs to be at this limit if it goes over or something because in case there's discrepancies right the, it automatically rejects that debit right they increase it to 3,300 rand almost 3,270 um, something from 2.7 yeah, imagine yeah, it's ridiculous and, 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 then, and I, I, I contest this I call them I say yo guys I need to contest it they say no we'll have a look at it and everything else and at I ended up just cancelling it and going to um, Absa I direct to go from 3,200 rand, right, from 2,700 rand, or 3,300 rand, to go to 2,180 rand. Mm-hmm. Jeez. It's a huge saving Absolutely. monthly. You understand? Change your ID. The reason why I thought, no, let me change this thing is because I saw the, the new Toyota Igo. The installment on that car is 2,700 rand. So I'm like, I'm paying more for my insurance. Then I would, if I just bought myself a Toyota a, Igo. A, back, a yeah. backup car. It, like, you know, and a cheap one yeah. that uses less fuel, that I can just run around, do everything. Let's I can let's, even let's, buy an automatic. So now this thing of price fixing is something that we cannot have amongst us as, oh, Penwell, whatever is charging, he needs to charge whatever. If you're charging 80 rand for a thousand views, you need to charge and all of us need to actually compete for pricing and everything else. As soon as we start this price fixing thing and everything else, what we're doing is that we're saying that the established ones can charge these certain prices and everybody else has to do it for free until they get up to our level. It's, and a, they, fa- it's a fair counter and, argument. And therefore, now we are controlling the whole entire industry and new entries are being blocked out. Because they cannot charge lower prices to help themselves up. Because Upenwell now cannot charge 500 rand because when I, you've already set this stable. The and you guys are working with guys that have gang cash. Four you days. I <laughs> you think if another big corporate came, they probably yeah. can't even pay that. And also no, just 80, the, the 80, alignment 80, of the brand. 80 rands per thousand is actually a standard across YouTube. How much does it YouTube works? Pay? It works to a, a certain 45 cents US dollars. Or some Remember. shit like that. But but just generally, how much it does YouTube you pay do. for if a thousand doing a finance account? For that, yeah, like, like you say. It, yeah, it, but it, let's just say it general, depends on just the normal. So Shakuruma. okay, let me let me put it this way: on Gululego and culture, when we have half a million views, we get thirteen thousand rands. I can show you guys now. No, I'm asking per thousand views. Yeah, so well, we you break have it to down. break it down at that, d- d- at that d- level. Divide it by five hundred. Yeah. Okay. Just break it down at that level. It's forty-five cents per thousand views, or something like that. Something like that. Forty-five cents. It's it's forty-five. Twenty-six rand. But it's US dollars, 45 cents uh, oh. or something like that. 0.45. So, so because I'm a technical guy and I think Unota is also a bit of a nerd, as much as we don't want to do price fixing and those things. $1.50. Oh, okay. Right. I, I, like, I like the idea of doing our research. That's why I was speaking about a matrix of sorts. So that kids know if they're underpaying, overpaying. And even when you're saying I charge a thousand rand per uh, Eight thousand views. Thousand. No, 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 a thousand rand. You guys oh, are being oh. noticed right and now. So, and you're being says, transparent with your numbers. And someone is saying, no, are but you Upen, not happy with that? I'm saying you're being noticed. 
Ah. Oh, okay. Forget this guy. <laughs> I and thought you were says, high, I, I, Your brain is, is dope, so I thought you were doing something, we were airing, and you're notifying us on something. And someone says well. that's too expensive, <laughs> but then you explain that that guy charges a standard fee. The reason you'd pay me for this is because I literally get you, let's say, clients directly. That's why these people pay us at the end of the day. Can you prove that you can help us make more money? And then it's almost a form of upfront commission with the hope that they'll make much more than you. So all I'm trying to say is we must do the research. We do this now at YouTube. So if YouTube, for example, is paying 26 rand per thousand views, that becomes a reference point. If some big corporate is That's, willing yeah, to pay 80 it, it, rand per so, thousand so, I'm views. I'm so sorry. So that is because they take, for, yeah, this is where I take the 45%, 45 thing. So they take, this is 45% This is forty-five percent of a hundred that you get. So the 13,000 out of half a million views, they would have received maybe 17,000. They take 55%. I just think all of this is stupid. No, but hear me. So, so let me finish. I hear so, you, but I just think that is, that is a stupid way to do it. Can I tell you why? Yeah. No, please, hear, come... let me finish. Okay. I'm cool. almost done. Okay. No, so, so if, for example, now you're adding more to the thing. I'm just speaking about so how much oh, we get. Ima, oh, let me finish. Holistic, let me finish. Holistically, it's supposed to be, if it's what, what you calculated was 26, so holistically, it, it should have been like 60 rands or something like that. For example. So yeah. now that becomes a, a, a reference point. And I'm saying we do this here with YouTube. This is how much I get. This is how much they make. This is how much they're selling. Yeah. You go and you do the same with TV or Generations or Uzalo, all these guys, or The Queen. And you try and figure out so that we start having an understanding of how marketing works. So that we, when you have a platform, because your YouTube channel is literally, it's your SAPC, it's your multi-choice. Absolutely, it's better. And if you're selling, yeah, even better, yeah, yeah. And if you're selling marketing to a company, it could be a mom and pops. If these guys are giving you 80 rand, how much, for example, are they charging onto the next guy? Mm. So when you go to a mom and pops, are you overpricing under, if they're like, yeah, but these guys say they make this much from the SAPC, you're like, but they haven't considered other things and I'm doing this. And you must understand, these are my fans. And if I'm telling them, they will literally go and be like, pen said, unlike with the generic and generations you see and there, you're just skipping. And you see there, Napoleon. that is why I think that, that the, the charging a certain flat rate for a number of views is, for me, it's just dangerous, make sense. but we need no, to discuss it. No, no, wait, it. wait. I, I, I'm can, done. can I say, can I say why? Because I come from a record um, business, right? And we also sell content, right? Um, but we earn off royalties, right? And because we're selling a lot of our content online, we also get the data to see, oh, this is how many people actually bought the song. Yeah. This is where they live. This is what I, and on YouTube, you can see, this is how many people actually viewed this video. This is how many people, and this is where they live. This is the data. So I think a royalty percentage is a much better way to charge these clients to say, let's say, fine, oh, oh mom and pop is now selling these things, right? And because of your ad, um, they were able to move from uh, this many sales directly and you can track that because... A royalty percentage on sales. On sales. Well, that pretty much puts a burden on the creator to ensure that... It's too much work. Yeah. It, no, what, what, it, what I'm trying to say is this. What I'm trying to say is this. What I'm trying to say is this. Okay, let's say... Let me say... Okay, it's fair. It's a fair thought problem. Please carry on with it. Please carry on with it. I don't think it's fair. I think that it's actually... Um, it can go either way. But the upside is limitless. And the, 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 the downside has a, a, a flaw. Like, there's a certain price where, okay, fine, we can say, listen, we can charge this nominal fee just to have your ad to produce it for the production cost of the shout outs, oh, right? Yeah. For yeah. that, for the voiceover of the shout out, we charge there's this much. That's a fee. flat rate, yeah. right? And then we charge a royalty on top of how many sales you actually make of this product due to this shout out or due to the referrals that you're getting from this link that is directing people there. And if you get like, it's an affiliate. Can I add on to that? Um, just to say, I was saying what's fair is the thought process. We, we can't say anything is wrong. We need to mm. bring all these ideas onto yeah. the table. I'm thinking if, for example, you're selling standard mm. 500 Rand to get a shout out in a video. To and, record and you, the video. As for an you example, to record for shout out, yeah. whatever. Yeah. And I'm saying it's because we normally do 5,000, 10,000 views per video. And then you can work out a contract saying if we breach and this video goes berserk and does 50,000, one of the arguments could be either royalties for sold or it could be if we do beyond, that means you're getting extra traction and we'll charge less, but we'd like to get value because you're getting, and then you control some of the upside. But I mean, like even a yourself. nominal fee, like a 30%, if I get 30% royalty on like um, the the thing, that you got, whatever percent, even 20% for on, on the, the, the specific sales that I mm. created the leads for, right? For me, that's got an like upward potential. Let's say like they, they launched the new, um, on Disky TV, they launched the new KZ Chief jersey, right? And then you've got an affiliate code and everything else. Yeah. 
and then they sell out and you sold more um, than Shesha did in their stores, right? If you, you should be able to get some sort of royalty for that. Mm. You understand? Because you are the one who, your traffic, the people who are loyal Andrew to you. Andrew Tate. Yeah. The people who are loyal to you, your traffic is what... Andrew sent, Tate. Is what... Um, I, think, I think what's interesting with this discussion is that there is actually no set way to do it. Um, mm. These are ideas that we're sharing. Mm. I mean, I, I'm comfortable with where I'm at with ETSK that it, it has worked for us, mm. that we have the audience, we shout out your name, you give us a 10-second clip at the beginning of the video, you pay additional amount for us, branded, we have branded tees, and that's an additional significant amount. Mm. We have absolutely no guarantee that these people who are watching this content are going to sign up. Yeah. We literally take ourselves away from the obligation, even though we've proven that they actually do go sign up. Uh, they have enough evidence from the beginning. They tested it um, by having a competition and they're like two to 5,000 people signed up for that competition. And that was sufficient to, for them that they said, shit, when we're doing it on Super Sport, people are watching passively. They were not participating in the competition. But because it's YouTube, people are actively watching. There's so much value on YouTube because in order for you to watch a YouTube channel, it doesn't just play when you are passively moving around the restaurant or whatever. Mm. You literally have to click and engage with yeah. the content. And it's so, on premium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and for us, we are... I'm on premium. We, we are in, ah. a, in a prime position. So I give you more money when I watch. I give you more money when I watch your videos. I watch them. I don't. Sometimes I watch them twice oh mm. thank you so much Bruno congratulations, five, no five. congratulations. Oh, yeah. <laughs> come on i pay 94 rands a month to watch you and pay you more than other people do yeah i, I wanted to say this um for some people and this becomes a business conversation yeah. aws uh, amazon web services, web services. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for some people they like look and that's why about youtube and these andy guys jesse is like look someone is like don't say some people i'm not name named. his name andy jesse is like look i don't know who that is he's the ceo of amazon web services oh, andy okay. jesse thank andy you jesse I, that's not our business. Our business is content creation. We don't want to work with royalties and affiliate marketing. Yeah. Just speak to our salespeople. Pay us for that slot. Let's move. So you're very right. And yeah, they, the reason we need to have these conversations because different people are different. Nota will say, your mom and pop store, um, for the next six months, I would like us to have a partnership. I'm going to be your brand ambassador. You're not a big brand. You're a small brand. I'd like 20% of whatever. And mm. I'm going to go around punting you. Mm. And if you make money, I'd like a bigger stake in the business and I'll end up owning. You know, and negotiate and getting my, equity, my, Michael Jordan. Paid equity. End so, up uh, negotiating Michael Jordan type deals. So, Or if, you're, if you're, it's a big corporate and they're like, this is all we can do. You're like, sure. But at least we now know the various models mm. that we can But also, like, what, what he just said is also now how you can make money using your channel and the fame that you're gaining from your channel to make money outside of your channel. So I did the same thing um, with the Questa Urban Art deal. And the, the, the thing is that um, only he made money out of that deal. What, what was that about? Um, he, he got a, a, a... How much was the royalty? The royalty was 10 rand per sneaker. Uh, 10 rand, including VAT of 15%. How is, much was the sneaker? On 11 rand 50. And uh, no, but we weren't doing it on like um, the retail price, but a sneaker on average was 600 Rand. Okay. Right. So 12 Rand of a 600 so Rand. So what, what did they like offer? 5%. Like, did they offer to design a sneaker in no, his no, name? No, no. What I said is this is that we were on an ascending scale. So the more sales we get, right, then they pay us a higher percentage, right? But I wanted to cap the cash amount to that same 5% that we're getting. And then whatever the ad additional higher percentage, they don't give that to us in cash, they give it to him in equity. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So that his performance could be incentivized by a higher and higher Break it down to, equity to, to amount. So basically so what, what they would equity? do, what, what, what they do is like, let's say um, he's got a, a, a company or whatever and he's, and I'm a marketing for Equelle, you yeah. know, the, the cult and the church, whatever. Um, um, they are a church. Um, yes, cool. in case they didn't. You, are <laughs> you, are, you are teaching, bro. And <laughs> don't, don't, no, don't no, confuse no, the, so the students. Say, so Akwele, 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 Akwele are saying, okay, no, guys, um, put, your, uh, put our product onto your thing and everything else. And I'm saying, okay, fine. You guys give me like one rand out of every 10 rand that you make here, right? Yeah. And then if the sales increase to a certain level, right? Instead of you giving me an additional one rand in cash, and then now give me two rand out of every ten rand that's here, that other one rand, give it to me in one rand's worth of shares in this company. Yeah, and that's it. And and and, and that's basically it. And you could then, for them, it would be cheaper because giving you equity is just signing shares over. 
You know what I mean? It, it, they don't have to take any cash out of the yeah. bank, so they're not paying anymore. It doesn't have, affect their cash flow. Doesn't right? affect their cash flow. Yeah, and if you are actually performing well, your stock price should be going up anyway. Yeah. So if they're giving you it's just, a, it's a win-win yeah, for them. Yeah, understand? It's a win-win for them, and yeah. also you also win because you get more heavily invested in the company. Yeah. And at a certain point, when you've got enough equity in the company, whether you're promoting the brand or not, you're making enough from dividends, from owning equity and everything else that you are like a partner of theirs. You Michael know? Jordan, easy. They did great deals that people should learn yeah, from. Yeah, well, no. Michael Jordan actually um, d- uh, did a deal where he gets a royalty and Yeezy actually wanted ownership. He wanted to get what I was saying, yeah. which is the equity in the sliding scale. That is, I got this concept I think from initially, Yeezy. And initially, Michael Jordan was, was royalties. Didn't it, it, no, no. Didn't it eventually become... No, it's still royalties. Okay. It's still royalties, but it's, yeah, it's, it's a heavy amount. It's royalties. It's, it's a okay. heavy amount. He, but he can that's the thing. Shares, that's, no, no, no. That's, that's what stopped Kanye West from getting what he was asking for is that we don't even give Michael Jordan mm. yeah because that. yeah that's, that's, what a, that's a mega mega you understand? mega brand. and he thought to himself but Michael Jordan doesn't even make these sneakers he's not even part of the design team he's not part of the creation of it he's just yeah. got his name on it that's mm. it so this, that's why you're giving mine. him a royalty this I actually mine. make these things I'm part of the creative team yeah. I'm designing these things and all, putting all this effort into making this thing Michael Jordan just wears whatever shoes you guys give him yeah you know can I mean? we can we compartmentalize this segment because I want to move on to our next question um what are we saying to YouTubers about money and the ways in which they attract brands on their platforms? Then, what Yo, are we I'm, the, I'm the wrong person. I'm actually here to learn. You guys can speak. I I, I've listen. broken down and I've well, I've spread, got experience from the record business. I've broken it down from from us with Itisky. What do we make and how we make it? Yeah. Um, and I think that that's a teachable moment. To what, whoever gets to that level, they can do it that way. Um, you know, and initially those deals we did it ourselves, myself and Jason. Now we have a sales team um, that goes out there for all of our brands. You know, so it's an easier, Brilliant. we don't have to be involved in that. They know what we expect from those brands in terms of uh, their commitment financially and what kind of contracts we sign. The one other thing I would say is that uh, these deals last three months. They last two months. So if someone is paying 80, 80 rand per thousand views and you're making 100,000 from that, if you popping in terms of the, the platform that you run, mm. it's not something that lasts forever. It could, it sure. could last for two months. It could last for three months. Um, and sometimes they could renew after three months and renew for a further three months. So that... Are, you, are that, you guys willing to outsource your sales team? Should kids out there be looking to build sales team and then going to podcasts can I, can and I, punting? We take say, we can get you guys brands. Okay, it was easy for us. I'm, 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 I'm mm-hmm. going to quickly just deal with it. It was easy for us because we had colleagues we were working with uh, yeah. previously. They had bags of experience where they'd send deals for like five million, whatever, whatever. So we just had two, we have two people in the sales team that are experienced that have made money for other brands that we were working with, uh, maybe up to a hundred million with their experience over five Those years. Those are the people we need. Gary. Over, over, over five years. They but, must sell but, but they know how to sell newspapers. So sure. with the previous newspaper that we were working for, we had some of the people that came from there to work for us. Sure. You know? So yeah, you can, you can interject now. Nota. Um, so no, it's juice. Uh, I lost uh, my train. Oh, yes. I was talking about the recording business. So, oh, I wanted to say something. So, I was saying, like, you were asking about what advice can we give to other YouTubers. So, yeah. you've given your part of your advice. So, um, the part that I wanted to add to is, like, um, we guys, and we can even discuss this even further. Sure. Um, it's just the subject itself. So, I checked out the stats um, uh, for uh, the, the, what you call, um uh, the Questa records that are, are are part of my record label, right? Ngut increased by thirty seven percent in streams after Quantum was dropped and this whole entire thing. Spirit increased by three percent. Nasvela Ngawa increased by twenty seven percent in streams. So especially so it's if you're a thirty percent, twenty seven percent, and three percent increase in the last in two Apple weeks, Music two weeks in streams. In Apple Music, Apple Music and. Now, I haven't checked on the YouTube channel how much the and spike Spotify. is, but it's even higher there. Mm. But what I'm saying is that it even bled. The, 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 the spike in streams even bled onto other songs. It reminded people of streaming other songs. And there's a huge spike in the, all, the back catalog as well. So from my experience in that is that when you've got a new viral video and everything else, you must know that it will take up your previous back catalog. You know, So one thing that maybe guys like Penwell can do is, is, is possible to do is that if you're doing a, a temporary period shout out like let's say you're promoting an event that's happening this past weekend and whatever you can go back on youtube and edit that video and chop out that um shout out that shout out talking. right that was there because the rest of the content is something that people can still watch yeah you know and yeah. that event itself would have already passed it would have, yeah. it would have been irrelevant 
You know what I mean? So those are some of the things that you can do. And you can also understand that every time you're po um, posting up new content, it raises up your old content as well. And those cumulative views actually are what contributes to the revenue that you end up making. Yeah, that's usually the behavior uh, on digital. I remember with the R. Kelly cases, they were actually complaining that you must stop saying R. Kelly who sang the breakout song, I believe I can fly. Because oh, what people, song is that? Yeah, yeah, people would go in. It's like they were saying, news readers, stop doing that. Just say R. Kelly is in trouble for X, Y, Z. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, what are the threats? I don't have the answer to this question, but I think we... Probably not on CBS News, though. We've, we've, been, very, <laughs> we've been very helpful to the audience. They're owned by Sony. <laughs> what are the threats and opportunities in our industry as we try to do this, we're trying to monetize this. Is there a necessity for us to work together? Nota has been on yes. all platforms yes. um, and has been diligent in that. You've done that too now recently. Yeah. I've been doing that now recently as well. Mm. What are the threats and opportunities? Is there a necessity for us to work together? Why are the egos, if there are any egos, where, how are we going to make money if we work together, for example? Can we do a case study with the big Zulu thing? And just look at how that was a plan that like worked of them work together because I think obviously they got the idea from this whole beef and dissing controversy from when Big Cosa did it, you know, um, last year. So they knew that okay, fine. If we do this, it'll work. The proof of concept was already given, right? We do okay, this. Okay, you, you well, there's pictures of the guys hugging it up and performing. They're so kissing it's, 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 it's confirmation. I don't know if they were kissing. That, were they kissing? That they're working together. That they're working together. There's a, there's a meme of Ko kissing. Yeah, he's got a controversy. Yeah, please, well, please it's a me. Yeah, yeah. I saw it on the timeline. Please continue kissing. teaching. Please continue teaching. They were kissing, dog. I showed it to you when you. Arrived. Yes, yes, yes. Please continue teaching, son. <laughs> Oh, is it him? Or yeah, like, no, I'm just saying. Like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, what do you think? Do you you think? Because you you followed that whole entire story. Everybody covered that whole yeah. entire story. Yeah. Everybody covered how you know Big Zulu came in and then he did the whole entire diss and then he diffused the dissing part of it. And I explained when I was on Mansa Main's channel, I was like, Big Zulu also understands that you know I I also dissed him about apologizing, right? Because also he dissed me on the song, but that was part of my I'm response. Not a son, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you understand? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You understand what I'm saying? I, I also fit into that, you know, but the truth of the matter, I'm glad that Big Zulu actually said that on his thing because his fan base is different. <laughs> his fan base actually can shoot and kill people on his behalf. You know, yeah, seriously. That, like his fan base can, you understand? In Gabi. Like, uh, you know, I don't know if that's the, his fan base, to be honest. No, he's a, no, I'm not here to say he's, he's a former taxi driver, it's not right? Hold on, hold on. I know, but, but it's a significant in, number. A significant, he's a former taxi driver who's lived that life, and some of those former taxi drivers, right, see him as one of them who's now made it in the music business. Imagine if Ukuzani was a former taxi driver, just like he was a former security guard. Security guards support Kuzani because they know that he, at some point in time before he came to Joburg, he worked as a security guard. You understand what I'm saying? So for him. He, he, he can play the uh, rap beef game for the been. rappers, but also to his fans. He needs to let his fans know that, yo, this is what I was saying about even like with the Patrick Shy thing, there was a whole entire boxing thing. Casper mm -hmm. could have come and said, yo, and yeah. uh, 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 Patrick Shai, he might still be alive if that had happened. Mm -hmm. But now with Big Zulu going into the beef like this, he needs to make sure that he shows his fan base good. Yeah, nah, nah, so you bring up as a, you bring that up as a case study in relation to how it worked together. together. Even um, though they dissed each other and yeah. whatever they they used whatever they could use for content, you know, the banter, right? Yeah. And it got a million views on YouTube for everybody. Yeah. I just spoke about how Questa's yeah, thing spike. Ko is sitting yeah. at number one on the charts right now. Yeah. You know, um, so Big Zulu's got millions of views. This is a case views. for working together. Yeah. You want to answer the question as well? I don't have the answer to it. Yeah, no, is it necessary for us podcasters to work together? Where, how are we going to benefit? What is the necessity for egos as well? We we need to figure out what we're trying to do collectively and individually. Yeah. More importantly, individually. I came into the podcast space because of certain people I admire. Um, in the same way, I look at people like Eminem, for example, Dr. Dre, guys that were in it for music, not for fame, not for making money, not for trying to be cool and be liked by everyone. So people need to be just very sure of what they're trying to do. Are you here to be cool? You have a short attention span. Are you, are you trying to do what stand-up <laughs> comedians are doing where I open for no time, then he does me a solid and then he opens for me? Are you trying to be cool and be part of a crew? Yeah, well, because I mean, there's, a, there's, a, a theme. there's a stable um, with even the comedy scene. There's a stable working relationship with all the guys that, as you say, yeah. um, mm. Rogan, 
opens. So Rogan is a main actor uh, or is a main event on a show. And you, you pretty much have an idea of who's going to be his opening acts. Yeah. Um, and, and even here in South or Africa. Or surprise acts. Exactly. Even Celeste Ntuli, uh, I've gone to one of her shows. It seems as though there's a working pop relationship. Pops, pops up. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's guys that will always be there to support the event and stuff like that. So For stand-up comedians, definitely. I'm just saying people need to decide individually. Why are you in this space? Because yeah. if you're here to be cool and chill with two notes and Uncle Lego, I want to be part of the crew. Sure, by all means, there's a case study to, to work together. I think for someone who's here as a purist, because they want to have a specific theme, whether it's money, you want to discuss healthcare, whatever, focus on what you're doing. You don't have to be cool. And if someone is inviting you, only take it if and only if it's in line with what you're trying to do. I know, are we trying to make money? Are we trying to be famous? Just decide that for yourself. Then even some of these discussions around getting brands, you're like, I was never here for that. I loved and I still love Joe Rogan for, for the fact that he didn't have ads on his shit, which we fucking hated. He wasn't there to be like, oh, let me do 10, 15 minutes because that's what YouTube says. He was like, I want to invite people that I like, that I think are fucking interesting. I want to have an interesting conversation and that's it. He ended up making a lot of money and I'd like to think for the most part he hasn't sold out with that and for me it sold out I would, I would rather not for 100 million i would yeah, rather the, not it, make it, money it, it did find a way to make money yes he found a way to, to make money genuinely fair. yeah when i speak about in sold, a way sold that out yeah i'm i'm saying he's not doing gimmicks as far as i know he from what delete i see episodes dog yeah the deleting episodes sold out. is something else because he's sold out he can't he's control him. it 100 percent. i'm just saying it's not i'm not trying to say it in a bad way though okay i'm well, not saying in a bad way yes, but he, had he to, may have had to tweak yeah but the model by and large is still joe rogan is what i'm saying yeah my point is um for me how me this is me Penwell. I, w- I would rather not make any money at all i would rather not have any fame at all not have m- many views not have people inviting me and we chat and we have fat laughs and now i'm <laughs> sitting with celebrities i would rather not have that Fuck celebrities, then, then speak. lose then lose my ability for my freedom of expression to say what i want to say to discuss some of the important things i i, I want to discuss mm. i'll laugh where i need to laugh i'll censor myself where i need to censor myself but ultimately the reason why i even jumped on let's say facebook when i started back in 2005 was because i had a lot of thoughts to express and i still want to do that i don't want to be part of a specific industry where we're all wearing dresses and skirts and we're dancing and yeah. we're makeup because this is what's cool as an example i i, I want to speak i want to speak yeah fake friends I want to I want to speak my truth, and if that means I have two hundred views per video, I would rather have that and try and monetize elsewhere. So kids just need to decide: Are you doing this for fame and money, and then be honest, so that when you become a big podcaster and you start being fucked by other niggers, or you're chilling with certain people for views, at least we know: Oh, okay, he was doing this value for fame. A lot of celebrities now are coming into podcasting not genuinely because they actually have anything to Meghan say. Meghan Markle. It's because yeah. they're trying to make money and carry on with their fame. Every middle makes a Markle. <laughs> so, some, of, some of us came here because we just want to say some <laughs> stuff and we don't care how small we're going to be if we can make money by all means but for me it has to be authentic Yeah, is there a necessity for them uh, to have conventions and talk And I mean my, my case study is Joe Joe Rogan that he goes to Theo Vaughn he goes to his friend Lex Friedman he goes to all of his friends I'll, I'll, maybe yeah. I'll give it you, yeah, yeah. To, to, for you to answer and I see, so my concern is that if Nota can do it on all of these platforms and there's a sudden jump in subscriber base and views, you can see how that is a positive thing. And it's, a, it's an exclusively positive thing. It helps these podcasts. Is my it because st- they're looking for views and subscribers? It doesn't you, matter you, whether you, they're looking for views have, and subscribers. Can, they're they're looking for someone content, who can have a, a proper conversation, yeah, an you, expert you, generalist you, you who can have a good conversation with anybody. Exactly. Like they, that's they, not what he's speaking about. They, they, so, no, I'm just saying... But like, there's a byproduct. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, but the byproduct is that the conversation is always going to be dope. And whenever you're listening, you like, share. this is dope conversation. You know what I'm saying? My point is decide. I'm inviting Unota because, fuck, I think he's got a great mind and a lot to teach. Yeah. Yes. I'm not inviting because, fuck, dog, we need to get Nota. I think we need subscribers. But either way. If that's what you want. Either way. But, Nota, hear me. Mm-hmm. All I'm saying is the kids must decide. If you want to tick all the boxes. It's an important message to, 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 to say. Way. But, but there's, there's a converse to the message as well that I think we all, I think the fact that we're all three of us are here yeah. and we've all been in each other's platforms, I think we, we are in the same spirit in understanding that um, you've been there. Right? And, yeah, I've been to his. And you are a walking, talking platform. Do you tell people that I've been 
Yeah, that you've spoken to me yet. I, I, is he I think only yet? me. I've deleted what? those fucking episodes. I think, fuck. Yeah. I don't want people to but associate the, me the with this The point guy. is that ah, we fuck. all identify the, the positive spirit. Of yes, we believe in picking, collaboration. Pick, yeah, picking each other up, collaborating with we each other. We believe in collaboration. And stuff like that. So yeah. that, that's, that's what I'm asking. Steel, will steel. there be a need for us to create almost like an industry to, to, to collaborate yes. and stuff like that? We Can I tell you something? Need to. Can I tell you we something? We definitely need to. Let me tell you something. Would have never made records like Ingo to Nyas yeah. and everything else, right? Had we not stayed in studio with Kid X and Smashes to actually get Questa in a studio where now he does not know this because I'm the producer, but I put those fucking savages in the same cage with him so that when he's writing, he's thinking to himself, whatever I record on that mic, these motherfuckers, you understand? When yeah. I'm inside this booth, they need yeah. to be. Just Scratching out everything they said, fuck. They need to be like, fuck this that's guy. What, that's what Reza says. Saying? That's what Reza says as well. That's with the, the way Clan. it is. Healthy competition. It's healthy yeah. competition. And sometimes artists don't even see that. They see that you are trying to, you know, you, oh, you don't like them or whatever. Sometimes you give them tough love because you know that that's what pushes them. That's what gives them the fire. You know, um, uh, when U Uquesta did um King Speech, I'm like, oh, nice. And then I sent him to PH. I was like, yeah, no, you need to rap uh, with someone who's not impressed by your cheesy punchlines. I, that's a hurtful thing to say to him, right? But I know he's going into the studio thinking to himself, fuck, fuck whatever punchline, <laughs> it cannot be cheesy. A song like Nomai, and I was like, this is some trash shit. You understand what I'm saying? Because why? Because he wasn't singing melodically. He was abusing the autotune. Like the autotune is a cheat code. You understand what I'm saying? And now, because he, he's got that draw and it, it sounds sort of monotonous. Because I wanted him to actually sing in his bass, but sing properly. You understand what I'm saying? So that you light that fire under his ass, right? So we need to be able to light those fires under each other's ass. I get it. Uh, we've Negative spoken, he's he's, he's, to, he's, he's spoken to me about the yeah. idea of competing on the phone privately when we have mm. this conversation. And I'm like, yo, I'm not trying to compete though. Like, yeah. I really just want to chop it up with people yeah. and talk to cool people and have a fulfillment in my heart that mm. I'm doing something better than Itiski, where I'm just talking about a match. But you're competing against yourself though. You could argue that too, and I, I could agree with you, but I'm not looking at anyone else and what anyone else is doing. That's fine, Compe and, yeah, but you are competing with yourself in terms of what you've previously done. Yeah, you're yeah, competing yeah. with your previous best and yes, you're trying to improve yourself. Yes. And that's for me, whatever the, the competition is, whether you, your, your previous self is your greatest rival or your future self is your greatest rival, it doesn't matter. As long as you've picked a rival that is, is something that you can drive against. Also, for me, just in general, I just think that all of us need to pick mainstream media as our rival. Whatever we need to do, we need to be breaking all the rules that they don't break. We need to be raw, uncut, and everything else. They're breaking all the boundaries. All of us, in general. Doesn't matter what hey, you're... Hey, but I'm telling you, I'm not No, 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 that's fine. That's fine. I'm fine. Yabon, 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 that's I'm selling kidding, out. <laughs> He's going to use it against you when he's interviewed again. He's going to tell you that you're a Sony sellout. I, I don't think you mainstream media is the you enemy, but No, 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 but we took a deal at Sony. We took a deal at Sony. Okay. That was in 2013 at the bottom of the market. You understand what I'm saying? And at the top of the market, when I didn't have... I even spoke to you about this. When they were offering me three times the salary that I was already getting to me for me to go out there and sign people onto the same slave deals that i was on where every time i make a million they make five on top of that like that's fucking like that it's frustrating dog i hate the fact that i made six million and i only keep one of them you understand what i'm saying that like, as a that's man not, it's like right. is this a that's real thing right. yes. yeah that's not right no, sir, it's only that, that's not right bro. No, I'm, 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 I'm making an example i'm making right. an example i made much more than that but it's, either way it's not right bro. no 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 come Ma on who's this guy yeah no 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 but you know even when you get to five million you're like it's the same feeling you These get when SARS has to million. take 80%. We made 30 million and we only keep 5 of the 30 million yeah, we fucking made. The converse to that is that one day you become a big deal and you become whoever... No, no, no. The thing is this. Yeah. All they need That's to just do... That's kind of unfortunate. All they, do, all they need to do is, 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 is send, upload... And then it's sent out everywhere now. That's the thing. That, that, it's not you the thing. You know that there was when no effort. There was in no work. There was a guy who was calling every radio station, going around, doing all these things, making sure CDs are delivered, you know, making sure that there's enough saved up for breakages, making sure that there's posters that are put up, Emma Breach, uh, so that all the students know that, yo, we're about to drop. You know what I mean? We're hey, hey the shout out to you, Breach, On the star. <laughs> on the star. You understand? Because all the CDs were printed. M my, my, making sure that there's yeah. posters. Up back there. To, someone to, should, so, someone should have so, owned that, so, that Vitz bridge, by the way. That's proper marketing. You understand? You're talking about the top one, bottom. 
the uh, at the bottom uh west campus uh, no at yes, the bottom yes. of that's, west pri campus, that's yeah, prime the property then. so 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 you understand what i'm saying and yeah. there's people coming on the offer empire road whatever there's lots you know you could see oh so and so is dropping an album you know so that awareness that is created you know from there we didn't need oh, it anymore because we had the internet. The we didn't need to because now we've got Twitter. And now, actually, the main artist got over a million followers. And just him tweeting the link is enough to set it all over. So now why would they make 25 million out of the 30 million that we've made when they did nothing? They weren't in the studio at all. They didn't record the music. They didn't write the music. They didn't pay for studio time. We paid for that ourselves. We fed ourselves in the studio. Everything is ours. And just because they had the control of the machinery in the previous era and our deal was so long term in terms of our deliverables, we had to deliver three albums that we ended up transcending into another era where everything that they did for us in the past was completely irrelevant. Yeah. Let's, take it, ask, to, let's take it back ask, to... I want to ask a question let's, quickly. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, mainstream media is the enemy. Yes, that, and it's for all of us. And it's because they bully people and we can't get in and yes. they take the money. Yes, yes. Are you telling me that you will comfortably in the future, if ever, let's say, for example, we end up owning South African voices on YouTube, as an example, and we become big and we become billionaires. Mm. Are you saying you'll comfortably be willing to lose your entire business when other kids come with alternative models? Dude, have I not done that in the recording business right now? I'm not out there trying to say, oh, let me go out and discover a new artist and use the fact that I've got a label that is established to, you know, like it's. I'm not, asking, are you, no, let me tell are you, you saying let me tell you, you why? You because there's media in the future. Let, let, me, let me tell you why. Because you, there's people who actually do that. So they say, okay, we're going to make Ngabi Records YouTube channel, right? Now, on Gabi Records' YouTube channel, the main artist is Big Zulu right now, right? But the plan is to expand the label. And now we've got like 20 artists. And now all of their views are on this channel. And when Black Diamond need to start again, they need to now start a new channel yeah. after they've left. You it understand? Start from the beginning. Start from the beginning. So I didn't do that. I made sure that each person has got their own social media profile, has their own thing. And these things that they have, that million... I, I, I tweeted... 90% of the tweets on, on the Quest account, that's work, that's writing, that's everything else. 90% of all those tweets, uh, more than 90%. And you make money from that? No, I don't, because he makes money from that. I don't make a cent from any brand deals that he gets. I post it up on the... You don't Instagram make any profile. money no, from No, I don't, it. any. I don't. No, I mean, with the artists you speak about, the work you did. No, there was no I'm talking about Quest. I'm talking about Quest. No, I'm talking about, I made money from owning the record label. And saying, the sales, hold on, wait, from the sales of the record. But when he is now doing a campaign on his Twitter account, which I am the one who's actually tweeting on mm. and creating all this work and growing it to a following, which can be monetizable, he makes 100% of that money. Same thing with Instagram, same thing with Facebook. And all of those things are over millions of followers. And that is so that once our record deal is done, right? Mm. Once our record deal is done, he's still able to use his likeness and image outside of me without depending on the label but had i put him in like an urban entertainment channel he'd have to start all over again yeah. you know from scratch and all of that work that i'd put in right although i'm not now benefiting from it he would now um uh, uh be robbed of his parts in it but there is some so, value for you no there isn't let me tell you why because what i'm trying to say is that after we, we, we are done with our recording deal, which is the actual thing that we are bound, bound by. And all of these other things are peripheries like marketing tools, right? He makes 100% of the money from the platform that my work built. So I give up whatever, you know, he could say, okay, in fact, you yeah, know, you, 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 platform, you, use him you for could your have portfolio. a 30%. Hold on. You, no, I don't use him for my portfolio. because That's, that's my, why you're speaking no, about it. No, I don't use him for my portfolio. I use, no, I speak about it because I'm actually marketing the music. I still own it forever in per perpetuity. You understand? That's my copyright. So if I speak it about it, the streams go up. Yeah, that's that's what, it. Uh, the notes is not hearing me. My point is that... I'm hearing what you're please saying. Hear me, please I'm hear me. I'm saying I've chosen this part of earning yeah. and I've given up the other sure, part of earning, which sure. I still should participate please, please in. Please hear me. Because I... What I'm trying to say is that when you do your own social media, so you've done your own panel of the brand. If I no, was, I heard you. I heard so you. So if I was posting on your Facebook in 2005 and I did all of that stuff, right? Right? While we're working together because we're making music on the side, right? Which is what my company eats off of. And you also get a lion's share out of that because it's a 70-30 split where the label keeps 30%. It's also, that's me saying... All these other labels screw artists over. The best that these artists can get from these other labels is a 50-50 split. But me, I want to make sure that the artist that's with um, us right now at Urban Entertainment gets the lion's share so that even in future, when they want to contest it, they want to go to court and they want to fight, it'll come out and be like, Bana, you want to have 100% of this money and you didn't do 100% of the work. 
You, you understand what I'm, I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. Sorry, I have to leave this. No, we, my, we're my, wrapping my, up. Don't my, worry. We're wrapping up in five. Ten. But do you get what? Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. You didn't uh, let me speak. So what I'm trying to say is, we're saying mainstream media is the issue. Mm. But because just, I did ask what are we, the we trends just, towards yeah. we're doing. I was using we're major labels to, as 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 mainstream it's, media it's, in this regard. It sounds like we're just trying to break it down a little bit, but not fully. And in this example, Yaquesta, in the future. There won't even be a nota. The artist will fully own everything. And I'm saying, mm. are we genuinely going to say we're going to be fine with that? In the same way mainstream media is defending its territory, we might get to a point where we get big to a certain level. Yeah. And the, the next kid says, and we're probably going to be cagey as well. I'm just trying to explain that sometimes it's just the psychology of a capitalist trying to make money. Mm. Because they believe there's some yeah. value they've created. Sure. And, 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 and I, I don't know if we fully... To be fully honest, you, believe there's, in a, there's a reason why if you've done the work, you shouldn't be part. If you haven't done the work, you shouldn't be participating. Yeah, in the I mean, earning. They would and that's not, what I was yeah. uh, complaining about because of the mainstream big labels. They participated in the earning and they took the lion's share. They took. 80%. But they did the work to get to mainstream. No, that's but in the, in the in the in the in the, in, the, in, the, YouTube, the in the YouTube example, not to make this. Product. If the threat is mainstream media, what what did they do? Like we blew up by ourselves. All we did was really to take their audience. Mm. Uh, really and which affects their bread mm. but the only way for them to no, do... the audience moved on from them yeah yeah well in, in, in their rationale we took their audience but really the audience moved on the yeah. audience found something better Some, yeah exactly so which which takes away part of their revenue because now PRCSA reported uh, recently that PCC uh, PRCSA uh, oh Broadcast, the Broadcasters Broadcast Research okay. Corporation of South Africa oh, is reporting another. that there's a significant increase sorry decrease in all the primetime television shows on SABC, which means that they're going to have to have an awkward conversation uh, with their sponsors, their brands that they're charging. Increase? Uh, there was a decline. Oh. Okay. Um, Movango, for example, declines by 1 million views. Usano, mm. 1 million views. The rate card so needs to be yeah, they have adjusted to adjust down. Their, 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 adjusted down the rate cards. Uh, Disinflation. You know what I'm saying? So this is where the, um, the conflict happens with mainstream media and us YouTubers in that that's why there's an incentive for them to take Upenwell and put them on generation mm -hmm. and sign an exclusive deal that you are to not record anything visual other than what you are doing on SABC one for the six months. You know, if they if, if they arrive at a point where the reason why they lost numbers was because of the rise of YouTubers. They just go to the YouTubers and sign them up to television. And we still have this dream of wanting to be on radio and television. And maybe what I'm trying to say is that let's just forget about that. Mainstream media, yeah. That, that for me, that needs that. to be the rule why, for why onlineers. Why collaborate with them? Because we are competing. We can, you, a fish cannot co co collaborate with a shark. Yeah. And they're going to... So, so, well, so, so, so they're going the to incent incentivize you with the is, salary. They're going to inc incentivize you with the it? salary. The more and it, it will create a, a comfort to a point where you feel like, okay, if I'm making 300,000 with my TV stuff and I'm signing deals, like, for I can me, say, Nizo Yenza! Nizo Yenza! And I can get drunk on podcasts as much as I want because I don't give a fuck because this is not the real bag. No, but I'm saying, that, like, that's the truth of the matter. <laughs> it's true, yes. But that's the truth of the matter. We are, we are watching it. Yes, but we are we, watching it. We, we, want we are exposed to this. Well, like, and, but that's what I'm saying. It is teachable in that moment. Uh, with, without coming across as if we are fighting. We want well, to teach. I am can teaching we not, with can, that. Can we not so you guys don't have to agree with that. But I'm just saying, I watched that myself with my own eyes. And I saw that, you see, this is how, yeah. when we now say mainstream and thing magis must go side by side, right? The type of people that are willing to do that, right? The type of people that are willing to do that. As soon as the, 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 the amount of money now takes precedence over what is important to them, right? So now this big bag is more important than anything and everything. It makes the content suffer as well. Yeah. It so also makes what, the what, attitude what of the content people, creator I, suffer. I, I get it that you're grappling with this, the, 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 the fact that we're saying we shouldn't collaborate. What will eventually happen is that every single time, and I mean, we've used uh, sexual assault in this conversation in context. Mm -hmm. We've used killing in context. We've used words that these brands are starting to put pressure on SABC or mainstream media uh, that every time you go back to work, you're going to be reminded on, of the things you said here on this free platform 
to a point where over a period of time, your message is diluted. Whether you are very provocative at times. Do you I don't want to believe wanna, we I want, can collaborate I don't, with mainstream I don't and, die for and, black people. and change the culture of mainstream? We, Why? We, won't, we won't change we it. Up you can't. We won't change you can't it move because they have a profit mo motive. Mm. They have a profit motive. They are doing what they've been doing for the past 40, 50 years. They see us as an existential threat. Can this not go Money on? isn't evil. Profit motive is actually evil. Yeah. Because profit motive evil? means that I am willing to disregard any values disregard any integrity yeah. the things that you were speaking about we need to have integrity and the, you didn't say the word integrity but that's what you were alluding to you understand we need to be um uh uh, uh we need to stand for something yeah. you need to so when so you, when so when, when nota, do, you know? when nota you, is talking about uh, lgbtqi and speaking about the influence on our kids mm, it's a, the a, negative it's, influence and the negative influence it's an actually a message that i agree with mm. i agree with and and and, and i have to go back to SABC3 or um, Zanzi Magic, they whisper in my ear, that to my ear, that, yo... Do you not think we can change that? We are you not involved. We're, we're not power. leaders there. We're not involved there. You don't think we can dismantle? No, we cannot, because they see us as an existential threat. I because understand because that. Okay, can the miners dismantle the mining companies? They even work there. Can they not? No, they cannot. No. You are seeing that. Because no. the, the four months said, you, you guys really can strike don't whatever. We can, we can change Hold the on. mainstream media. They closed the mines for six months. So yeah, we, we, can, months, set a template. Mind. we yeah. can set a template and say, you guys need to change your programming. No, okay. no. I what they will do is they will call you in I a meeting. I think we can influence them, right? I think we can influence them to take risks like we do to get the audience. Yes. But the problem is this, that affects their profits. Yes, because but the audience time, comes to the us. The profits are coming here, so they have to adjust. No, the over profits time, are not coming here. The over revenue time, is coming here. It's not profits. So empirically, empirically, over time... South Africa is growing YouTube channels with diversity, different channels, and brands are coming here I, on YouTube. They are leaving there, or they are taking part of their budget. I think Mochala so is just, proving that no, TV no, no, is no, willing no, to... No, it's not. To it's not. No, it's not. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. I'll tell you why, uh, Penwa. And I think we, no. we must have bigger belief, like the guys at Silicon Valley, that we can actually alter mainstream. No. How, many, how, many, how, how, many, how many Moja Labs are there on TV? On, no, uh, on, the on a dish. No, no, I just want to say something. Can I say something, okay. guys? It's not meant to be I think you guys are actually mistaking two uh, separate concepts okay. from a business perspective. You're mistaking revenue and profit. Okay. So, what I'm trying to say is this TV, right? When its revenue drops, <coughs> you must understand that for us to shoot doesn't cost us as much as TV costs to Absolutely. produce a show. Absolutely. So you're not thinking about the cost that it, if for them to make the money that they make, it costs a whole lot more mm. than it does for us to make the money that we're starting to make. Agreed. So the revenues are starting to flow here, right? And they are starting to diminish on that side. But the costs are still there. They're still fixed. Yeah. So which means it, it's affecting their profits. And what they want is more profits. It's yeah. not about an audience. It's about actually making a profit because they've got publicly traded companies, their share price, they need to uh, report um, their performances, all of that type of stuff. You know, it affects their profit. If um, Sibanya Goldmine decides, okay, fine, while we're having these negotiations with our workers that we're going to shut down the mines, fine, let the strike happen. What they know is that it's still, it, it means that they're not paying a cost for the miners to go underground right now because they're on strike, right? And also, because they have reduced their production, it um, it raises the, the, the price of gold, yeah, right? So demand. that by the time this whole entire negotiation is, is done, they will do it at the price where the gold price means that they're not losing money by paying people extra. They're actually even making more money now at this point because they've cut down supply to the point where now they can exploit it on the other end when the prices are up and the 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 the, the price increase right is more than the the wage increase that is being demanded or yep. more than the inflation stress that the wage increase puts on the workers but please hear me this this is how banking now are closing branches this is why a lot of yeah. companies retrench profit etc etc and they will close branches and i'm saying i i i don't think it's beyond mainstream media to also downsize because it's not just us we can speak South Africa. There, there are channels globally that people are watching on YouTube. And if the SAPCs, the multi choices, are not willing to change, okay. And um, my my so, whole so, point so sorry, is, Penno, I think we can so, help. Sorry, sorry. I think we sorry, can help Penno, to drive the change. Yo, yo, in, sorry, instead of sorry, them Penno, I don't want I don't want to interject. Sure. I'll give you last five minutes to make a point. Last five minutes to make a point, and we're done. No, uh, that's that's like your your closing all statement. I wanted to okay, okay let, let me close. Let me close. Let me close. Okay, close the statement. Five minutes. I'll speak for myself. I believe in collaboration. I think a lot of us have studied history intently. I think, yes, there is a case constantly for enemies and the new kid on the block. Rivals. I don't think we always have to assume that it's till the death. I think sometimes there is, or there might be certain people who are going to be like, we are going to be the kids that are going to come in and help you guys do better. And 
I think until they completely shut us down, we should be open to do that and not just say, fuck you guys, you know, and tell them if you don't. We saw Capitec do it with big banks. They came in with a cheaper way to, to bank, cheaper models, better technology, and the banks changed. The big, giant banks. And I'm saying I think podcasters can put their hands up and say, mainstream, this is what's happening. We're willing to come on board for a decent stake to help you guys be plugged into how the world is moving. You might have to retrench, you might have to downsize, these people are going to lose money, etc. But if you don't, the Amazons and the international guys of this world are going to come here. Then you'll be too fucked and it will be too late. Nespers, I think, has been very brilliant in investing in the OLXs of this world, the take a lot, the 10 cents. OLX failed. Because they realized, they realized that not profitable. the world is changing. So I'm just saying we can take the initiative and not just say it's us or nothing. It's mainstream or nothing. We can get mainstream to change and give us their money, their infra infrastructure, their, their sponsors to help us build what we yeah. think they should be Before doing. Before Nota comes in, do you believe that we are an existential threat to them given that over time, most of us will have 200, 300,000 subscribers in the next four years and money will move from TV to here, from radio to here and they will still have to play, pay costs like Nota was breaking it down. Do you believe that we are an existential threat to them? Here's and can we collaborate with people who see us as, as a threat? Here's my bigger fear. Uh, the short answer is yes, an existential threat we are. My bigger fear is that if we don't reach out to them and open ourselves up, they're going to take all their money, infrastructure, whatever, and pump it into other kids who are dumb to try and eat up this YouTube market that are going to come with shit content. And then they're going to fuck it up for everyone and then they're going to regulate and then we won't even That's be able to work. And if we don't try and help them, it's the same thing with the government. If we're not willing to go up there and be like, please listen to us or else if you don't listen to us, it might be Americans, Chinese that come here and by then we'll all be fucked. So please listen to us and don't throw money at dumb, idiotic celebrities setting up podcasts because they're stupid. They don't really know what they're doing. And you're going to fuck things up, not just for yourselves, but for everyone. Okay, so Thank you. Thank you, bro. I, 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 yeah. I, 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 I loved the contrast and different angles that you're trying to, so, to show, even though I'm not persuaded in my position, but I, I, I like hearing that. Uh, yeah, so I, like, I agree with um, what Penuel is saying, right? But that's only because um, <laughs> he's speaking about mainstream media. Yeah. Now, legacy media is no longer mainstream. We are the mainstream. And um, we're an existential threat to mainstream media. As for the legacy media that can still survive in this new era, yes, there are legacy medias that can still survive. Um, radio can still survive because it's less uh, production intensive than television. Television cannot survive. The only television that can survive is live sporting um, activities. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they've already captured that market and they've paid out the monies that need to be paid out. And plus the athletes, the fees that they charge mean that it's very restrictive for any small upstart to even sure. compete with them. So there's no way to compete with them. When it comes to radio, we can't compete with the fact that they've got the radio signals, they're free to air, whatever. Even though their numbers might dwindle when more and more people get um, access to broadband internet wherever free they are. Free Wi-Fi for everybody. You know, even start no, we'll even us. even not just um, um, free Wi-Fi. Think about um, um, uh, what's this uh, uh, Starlink, right? Think of all the Nigerian um, people that were scammers or whatever who had to have their um, cell phone um, things um, cancelled because yeah. of Rika. You know, now you don't need a SIM card, which means Rika does not affect you in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. Which means when Starlink launches in Nigeria and launches in Mozambique, yes, obviously the early adopters are going to be the hackers, the scammers, and everything else. But also, the cell phone companies are going to lose. You know, that's the legacy um, mobile connectivity companies. Um, uh, just the same way, like, you know, um, just um, handheld, t t t handset telephones, you know, in the, ho in the household. Like, nobody has a telephone landline anymore. You know what I mean? They just get the ADSL line or the fiber line or whatever. So uh, that's what I'm trying to say. Is that Don't look at this whole entire mainstream thing and think that that's not us. We are the mainstream, right? Traditional and legacy media, they are facing an existential threat from us and there's no way they'll collaborate to their own demise with us, right? I don't see it happening. I agree with you. And, 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 and if you're looking at the actual competition, the actual competition that is being served for um, um, DSTV, and all these other things, if you look outside of the sports, right, is Amazon. Amazon Prime. You understand? They're spending 
millions billions they yes. spent they spent a billion on the lord of the Rings series you know what i mean like they, 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 the production on that and that's because people expect that level of quality because that's how netflix was throwing money at it even when the share price was uh, sky high you know that it is depreciated by like 70 percent now yeah. either way when the share price was sky high now the thing that legacy media has is a catalog of content and we are seeing now disney um subscriptions are now have exceeded um uh the netflix subscription so we've got more disney plus subscribers now in the world than we have netflix Netflix subscribers and that's because disney had the advantage of that whole entire you know cinderella you know beauty and the beast the anime every that whole entire catalog of all the disney films that they've ever done and disney owns a whole lot of shit you know they own espn as well you know um so that is the threat for them so these streaming services that are going to be streaming movies that is going to be the threat for television that shows tv shows even series that's going to be the threat for them the only thing that's going to be in television is going to be sports when it comes to audio content radio will still have those people who want to listen to radio right their audience might shrink it might dwindle right because a lot of people like listen to podcasts on their phone that they've already downloaded while they're at home and they don't need um wi-fi to actually listen to the yeah. content because they can just plug it in so with that plug in that's happening there so sorry i've got like less uh, i got a minute uh, so with that plug in that's happening right radio can still survive in the same format no it cannot because at some point it won't be able to afford the big star names Absolutely. the Ranakas, the, the tibo touches the you understand what i'm saying uh the soul can or what or, um or, or what have you the caesar dromos um but it'll still be there it'll still be a staple as for us and what we're doing on this online space especially from the audio space the audio space right has already shown us that we already can monetize it. There's people who can subscribe to your podcast, pay a monthly fee for the content, and even boost you. So um, it's not like, yes, Apple doesn't um, pay for the streams on the podcast, but you can, uh, well, they, they pay a little bit through, you get advertising sense if you've got an advertising reseller, but, um, uh, but I mean, it's not like they pay for the content that people consume there. You know, um, Apple is not um, and paying for it the same way that they pay for the music that is being streamed on, on their streaming platforms. Mm-hmm. You know, because the record labels already could put in place the contracts. They could work as unions to work on behalf of the artists that they represent in the catalog. That they well, for so the way I want to close this thing is, is to say this. The only way for this to actually work is for Telcom and Rain to merge. And when Telcom and Rain merge, they need to buy SABC TV and that entire catalog, right? Because Telcom has got a a, a, a golden share that the government will always own. They'll always own at least um, 33% or a third of um uh, of the stake in it so that's the primed company that it, because it's still state owned it's still owned by us we are still the shareholders that can then buy the sabc yeah. catalog convert it into streaming from all the since 1976 when they started um, producing their own content or they started broadcasting since 1976 you know up until now so that they can now compete against a show max you know who's only starting now but, to make content and, and then and when they do that Vala, taking it back to us versus them yes this is us versus them this yeah. is very much us versus them because